from the 2-0 win at Nottingham Forest on Sunday. Bruno Fernandes suspended massive loss for a game like this tonight, but Marcel Sabitzer uh, is fit to start, and we think that'll be in the number 10 role for Manchester United. So that'll be David De Gea in goal. Back four of Aaron Wambasaka, Harry Maguire, the skipper, Victor Lindelof, and Diogo Dallo again at left back. Christian Eriksen starts a second game in a row, having recently returned for a, a couple of months out. That's huge for Manchester United with Bruno Fernandes missing, someone who can really make it tick. Casemiro alongside him, got to be a little bit careful this evening again. One more yellow card and he would miss the first leg of the potential semi-final. The winner of this one will play Juventus or Sporting of Portugal in the semi-final. So Ericsson and Casemiro in the midfield, Anthony wide right, Jaden Sancho on the left, and Sabitzer playing off Anthony Martial. Our Portuguese referee, Artur Diaz, looks at his watch, blows his whistle. We are underway in Seville and a nice, slow, steady start on a beautiful, balmy evening in southwest Spain. Lovely breeze just tickling through the stadium as well as Juan Bissaka plays back to Maguire. Jeers and whistles begin with Manchester United in possession. Maguire's long ball is volleyed forward by Acuna. Rakitic heads one forward to the centre forward in the Siri. Wambasaka's back heel has ended up in the path of Rakitic. He takes him on on the outside. Last touch I thought came off Rakitic yeah. there, and the referee spotted that. That'll be a goal kick. Yeah, not a popular decision with the home fans, but the right one. Manchester United starting by keeping the ball in their own half. They're just thinking early on, maybe done it more often than recently, David De Gea getting that understanding, hitting the ball forward early, just get it forward away from your own goal for the first few minutes, get it in their half. Former England goalkeeper Rob Green sitting alongside me, high up here at the Ramon Sanchez Pifuan, those Lou rolls still being slung out pitch side behind David De Gea's goal away to our left, Manchester United have lost the ball, they're playing in red shirts, black shorts, white socks, they're playing from left to right in this first half and I'll give you the severe team in just a second, their goalkeeper all in yellow is the highly experienced Moroccan international Yassine Bono. Good tackle by Juan Bissaka on the halfway line. He's lost it though, and the ball is played out wide to the left hand side. And here's the former Tottenham man, Eric Lamella. Flicks and tricks early from him. Double back heel, plays it back to the Serb, Nemanja Goodell. He's easy to spot, tall, powerful figure in the severe midfield. They've given the ball away. Eriksen plays to Sancho just outside the area, looking for the run of Martial down the inside left channel. Martial couldn't get there. It's gone behind for a goal kick. Yeah, wrong choice. Wrong choice. Cut inside, have a shot. Test the goalkeeper early. He's had two kicks so far and made a mess of them both. And they weren't great clearances, that one in particular. Just looking, just get the pressure on him. It's a big game for him because he's not first choice in La Liga. No, you made the point about him though, Rob. I remember him saving, uh, well, I'm sure lots of Spanish fans will remember as well, saving a couple of penalties mm. during the World Cup. If this one goes all the way, he's a bit of a specialist. Yep, and it's, again, just said it before the game, it's something that a reputation. He looks at Martinez in the World Cup final. That reputation that he built over the World Cup becomes bigger than the actual ability itself. Harry Maguire's clashed heads with Eric Lamella. Lamella's caught him. Lamella says he's feigning injury there. Harry Maguire points to his forehead and says, no, I'm not. You caught me. That'll be a free kick. Sevilla's team, Bono in goal. Uh, Jesus Navas at the grand old age of 37. Three-time Europa League winner with Sevilla. Captains the side from right back. Loic Bade, Frenchman, started the season on loan at Nottingham Forest, never played. He's on loan from Wren here now. Starts alongside the Brazilian Marçal, who's only just back from a long time out with a thigh injury. He also started the first leg at Old Trafford. Marcos Acuna, the Argentine, plays at left back. Sevilla fans accusing uh, Marcel Sabitzer of throwing himself to the floor. Harry Maguire's come over to have a word with the uh, assistant referee, and I can see that Bayer Leverkusen a 1-0 up away to Union San Gilois in the Europa League this evening. That one started 1-1 uh, on aggregate. So Leverkusen now leading 2-1 uh, on the night. So the referee's just got to, got to sort this little fracar out. Let me give you the rest of the Sevilla team uh, while he does so. Fernando, another former Manchester City man, alongside Goodell in central midfield. Ocampos, now Ocampos uh, started the season on loan at Ajax. He was actually brought in to replace... Anthony, who joined Manchester United, now back here at Sevilla, famously scored a winning goal 
in the Europa League quarter final the year they won it in 2020 against Wolves to knock them out. Scored 17 goals that season. So he's a goal scoring threat wide from the right. Rakitic, Lamella, and the Moroccan international Yusuf N. Nasiri. Sabitz is finally back on his feet. The reason I couldn't see him on the field, Rob, yeah. was he'd taken a tumble and he disappeared sort of five, six yards off the field onto the AstroTurf by the side of the pitch. Well, Marcel just shepherded him off the pitch, as they say, but it's AstroTurf right on the edge of the pitch, which caused it uncomfortable for him. Ericsson's free kick and Bunu throws himself forward, punches it away with both fists. Volleyed away by Acuna, he flicked it up to himself there, clears up to the halfway line. And Anthony is the man backtracking, does a good job for Manchester United and gets the ball back to his goalkeeper, David De Gea. Yeah, it's fortunate that, that it was Lamella who hasn't got the greatest pace because Anthony was 15, 20 yards in the Sevilla half and there was no one behind him. That was a player of pace, he would have been in trouble. Coming up to five minutes played. BBC Radio 5 Live, BBC Sounds, BBC Radio Manchester tonight uh, as well. Severe nil, Manchester United nil on the night. 2-2 on aggregate. Winners will face Juventus or Sporting in the semi-final. Juventus starting tonight's game, second leg. 1-0 up from the first leg, but they are away from home this evening. Casemiro drives a hopeful pass forward. It's beyond everyone. And it's at the feet of Sevilla's goalkeeper once again. So he walks slowly forward, 10 yards outside his penalty area, with his left foot, clatters one downfield, it bounces once into the arms of David De Gea. Important quarter-final action for West Ham tonight in the Europa Conference League. John Southall watching this one. West Ham nil, Ghent nil, but a really strong start from West Ham in front of a really noisy crowd inside the London Stadium. Jared Bowen just opened up for him on the edge of the penalty area. First touch just let him down, 0-0, 1-1 on aggregate. Winners of that one will face AZ Altmar or Anderlecht. They're into extra time this evening. Altmar winning 2-0 at home in the second leg, having lost the first leg 2-0. Uh, Sabitzer, low pass out to his right on this beautifully manicured pitch. Gets it back from Anthony. Edge of the area, can't find Martial. Cleared at pace. Lindelof chests the ball down. Lindelof, the left-sided centre-back again. Harry Maguire on the right for Manchester United. And here's the... Brazilian Casemiro taking his time plays to fellow countryman Anthony works it onto his left foot which he loves to do floats a high ball out to the left and Jaden Sancho can't quite control it he's had a slightly nervy start Jaden Sancho on the left yeah I think it's a big night for him I think he knows it I think that he all of a sudden he's turned around going well it's about time I turned up for the side it's interesting what Manchester United doing Dallow's just stepping inside when they've got to, got the ball creating an extra man in midfield at Alla the blue side of the city, what they do with their fullback, so it's, it's a theme. But if it, it look comfortable on the ball, they look confident, but you would do with Ericsson and Casemiro sat there alongside him. Severe in the white shirts, white shorts, black socks, red numbers on their backs, matching their thousands of fans all decked out in white as well. And then a bold triangle, a sort of black, red and white of Manchester United fans diagonally away to our right inside this beautiful stadium. Manchester United have intercepted a severe attacking move inside their half. Maguire to De Gea. Maguire's given it away. Severe are in the score. Stroked into the bottom corner. Manchester United at sixes and sevens at the back. Beautifully finished with the left foot. David De Gea didn't have a chance, but it was a mix-up between De Gea and Maguire that caused the problems. Maguire gave it away. And Sevilla have the lead on the night. Sevilla won Manchester United nil. They lead 3-2 on aggregate, Sevilla. It's Bedlam. It's Bedlam in the stadium. It's the start that Sevilla wanted. And it's turning absolute uproar all around Seville. But it's from their own doing, Manchester United. David De Gea is playing the ball. It's a straight ball into Maguire. And what you would say was it's a little bit telegraphed. The Sevilla players have read it and three of them have pounced on Harry Maguire and he didn't have an out ball after that. It was slow, it was predictable, it was punished. And it was just that little bit too pedestrian. Well, as we were saying at the start, sometimes just get the ball in their half. They look comfortable and now they're up against it. Worst possible start for Manchester United. Sevilla's top scorer, Yusuf N. Nasiri, didn't need to be asked twice. Finished it beautifully with his left foot into that bottom right corner. So Manchester United find themselves behind. And let's not forget this incredible record that Sevilla have at home 
in this competition. Manchester United, of course, this season have won away to Real Sociedad in Spain, won away to Real Betis in the second leg in the last round, got a good 2-2 draw away to Barcelona. And tonight, behind early, end the series goal, Sevilla won. Manchester United nil, Sevilla leading 3-2 on aggregate, and you can hear what that's done, just crank the atmosphere up another notch uh, inside this ground. Sporting nil, Juventus won, Ravio has scored for Juventus, they are now 2-0 up on aggregate in that tie. Back to the London Stadium, John Southall. West Ham nil, again nil, but a let-off for West Ham, lovely ball in from the right-hand side, there was Orban making the run, six yards out, just needed to nod it in, but didn't get any connection. West Ham nil, again nil. Sevilla 1, Manchester United 0. Those Sevilla fans particularly tightly packed in behind David De Gea's goal. Still bouncing up and down, celebrating the end of Serie goal. Lamella's flick doesn't come off. Casemiro, fouled by Lamella, too eager to win the ball back. Catches the Brazilian free kick for Manchester United, who need to settle. Now they just had a small possession, a period of possession there with the ball immediately after conceding the goal and they put two three passes together at pace and that's the key thing but all of a sudden Sevilla backed off backed off backed off and they were in on the defense when it's at the back it's a little bit slow and it's a little bit cumbersome and that's where they got caught out they just need to quicken the pace of the passing up and they'll get through plenty of time to make amends for Manchester United trailing 1-0 on the night 3-2 on aggregate Sabitzer tries to bring a ball down and find Anthony to his right Casemiro heads the clearance forward won by Sevilla or Campos powerful figure who plays wide on the right is now charging after a ball down the left Maguire gets there first clears up the right hand touchline sliding challenge from Marcos Acuna 100% commitment from every single player in a white shirt and every single challenge pass tackle block being raw to the rooftops. Yeah, his 100% commitment from up 60,000 in there, isn't it? It's incredible to watch. Everyone's up. A bit like across the city in at Real Betis at the start of yeah. that game. They really gave it a go. Anthony thinks he's been fouled. Rakitic wallops the ball in from 50 yards out just inside the Manchester United half. The whistle had blown. But that's, that's just an example of the quality that he still possesses now in his second spell here at Sevilla, 35 years old, famously Barcelona player under Luis Enrique, joined in 2014 and immediately won five trophies over the first couple of years under Luis Enrique. Now back at Sevilla, here at Manchester United, Dallos, lofted ball down the left, bounces into the path of Sancho, stretching challenge from Bade, wins it, knocks it out for a throw, throwing taken quickly, and Sancho finds Martial, Dallo onto Sancho, just outside the area, back to Martial, trying a trick inside the box, flicks the ball back with his right foot to Casemiro, Eriksen's under pressure here, white shirt surrounding him, Eric Lamella's won it for Sevilla, and brings the ball up towards the halfway line, wide it goes to Ocampos, who plays in the number 55 shirt for Sevilla, Fernando controlling things in midfield, plays it to Jesus Navas, Navas spins on the ball, halfway line, hits his pass forward into the shins of Sancho, throw in for Sevilla, they lead Manchester United 1-0. Yeah, again, it's good for Manchester United when they did it quickly, and then Ericsson got the ball, took two, three, four touches, got caught. I think the message is fairly clear, get it shifted, get it shifted, you don't have to score in the first 10 minutes, you don't have to score after 20 minutes, they've got another 80 minutes, that's the beauty of conceding early. Manchester United were 2-0 up in this tie after only just about 20 minutes or so of the first leg at Old Trafford. Now find themselves 3-2 behind and playing in a, a real cauldron this evening here in Spain. Throw in, which Dallo will take just ahead of the Manchester United penalty area. Sancho is strong, knocks Navas off the ball, has it inside his own half, back to Casemiro, forwards to Eriksen. Wide to Sancho, Eriksen again, surrounded by white shirts, he's not being given any time on the ball. Forward it goes to the goal scorer, N Nasiri. Tall, rangy figure, able to turn. Casemiro wants to win that ball, nearly did so, but Goodell steps in and plays it back to the ball Brazilian centre-back, Marçal. Across to Bade, pace on the pass from Bade, forwards to Rakitic, wide to Ocampos. Ocampos, jinx in field. Has support out wide from Navas if he wants him. Decides to hold on to the ball. Turns back in field and plays it to Fernando. Fernando side foots it to the right. Here's Navas. Dallo in close attendance. Now Lamella. Very recognisable sort of rangy running style of 
Eric Lamella. Arms out wide. Plays the ball back to Fernando in his bright orange boots. Rakitic, I think, might have been caught by wan as he played the pass. Free kick conceded, shooting range, 25 yards out in a central position. Rob yeah, Green. Uh, clever from Rakitic. He, didn't, he knew and he didn't care where the pass went. I just need to get it off because wan Saka's coming and has a history of making rash tackles, rash lunges and that is a dangerous one. And you go back to the goal. They conceded it after, what, eight minutes? Yeah. That's three goals in 13 minutes if you include the first leg. It's so hard to even contest a tie when you go through spells like that. Two own goals yeah. and, and that one handed a, a gift. Yeah, a gift. And now some more defending to do. Free kick for Sevilla. Five Live, BBC Sounds, BBC Radio, Manchester tonight, live in Seville. Manchester United going to have to do it the hard way if they're going to make it through to the Europa League semi-finals. Trailing 1-0, whistle blows, Rakitic steps up with his right foot, goes low into the Manchester United wall, the rebound comes to him, has another swing at it, Casemiro gets his body in the way. Here's Acuna, the left back, curling ball only as far as Casemiro. Casemiro looks up and sees if he can release Anthony, who's all on his own at the moment inside the severe half, but he does have the ball at his feet and Savitzer is busting a gut to get forward. Anthony's caught late by Marcel. Plays the pass though to wan -Bissaka. Good skills for Anthony. The ball's just running away from him down the right. Keeps it in. Might have been a handball from Acuna there as he slid in and made the challenge. What's the assistant referee given here? It's, it is handball. Yeah, free I mean, kick. it's a booking. It's a booking. It's a good save from the left back. He's done a good sliding out at the feet of Anthony as, as a goalkeeper would and, and made the save. And uh, he's got away with that because that was a clear yellow card. Haven't had any more banging on the desk from our Sevilla fan as yet. He's up. Oh, he's up, he's up. Just wondering whether we might try and get Jules's number before the end of the night, uh, Rob. He's had ideas. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes gone. First half, second leg. Sevilla leading 1-0. Ericsson with the free kick from the right. Good delivery. Ball headed away. Volleyed attempt from Anthony. Very ambitious and slaps it wide and behind for a goal kick. Little high five with Christian Ericsson. You do feel Manchester United will get chances in the game. It'd be really interesting to see as well, Rob just how fit Marcus Rashford actually is and if they desperately need a goal how early they can get him into the game more from Rob Green in a second let's get back to the London Stadium John Southall West Ham nil again nil best chance of the game so far though for West Ham free kick from so far on the right hand side met by Kurt Zuma eight yards out with a header just got it wrong leaning back over the bar nil nil Remind you as well how well West Ham did last season to knock Sevilla out of the Europa League. It was an incredible result. It was an incredible evening for them to, to manage that. Long ball downfield. Maguire again a little uncertain. Hooks at it with his right foot. Knocks it out for a throw. Not entirely sure about the communication between De Gea and Maguire there. No, it's tough at the minute. It's a loud, raucous crowd. And just to get that communication as one player's running back, the other one's coming out. Aaron Maguire wasn't sure. Did the right thing. Just get rid of it, get it out off the pitch. But it's just one straight ball that cut them open. Throw in on the left then for Sevilla in an attacking position. Marcos Acuna, World Cup winner, actually came on in the final for Angel Di Maria with Argentina 2-0 up. And we know what happened after that, but they got the job done in the end. Acuna plays back to Rakitic. Rakitic drives the diagonal ball in towards the far post just beyond Ocampos. Ocampos loved the idea from Rakitic there. He's a danger man actually Rob on that right Ocampos. Yeah and uh, he just wasn't on the same length, wavelength there. Rakitic whose brain is probably quicker than his body now at the age of 35 and uh, but you can see him just go just make that run just do it and I'll find you. Right, Manchester United are going to play out from the back. That might give some of their fans a few heebie-jeebies. Maguire getting jeered and whistled as he clears with his right foot. Martial brings the ball down, then tackled by Goodell. Severe play out wide to the left. Lamella back to Acuna. Acuna overhits the pass towards Rakitic into the arms of Eric Ten Hag. Standing on the touchline, the Manchester United manager who immediately gives it back to his team so they can get the game back underway. So in terms of Europa League action tonight, Juventus won up at Sporting. 2-0 up on aggregate. The winner of that one will play the winner of this one in the semi-final. Leverkusen are 1-0 up on Union saint gilois So they're 2-1 up on aggregate in the tie. And Sevilla 1-0 up on Manchester United here. So they're 3-2 up on aggregate in this one. Maguire flicks it forward down the right. Sabitzer barges into Marcel. Marcel goes down. Lovely flick from Ennisiri to find Acuna. Acuna back heels. Back to Marcel. Little chip ball towards Fernando, reacted well, 
on to Rakitic. Manchester United players just back off Rakitic and he slides a pass down the left for Acuna. Gets a first time crossing to the far post. There's a Campos. He's able to bring it down on his right foot. Dallow's in front of him. He heads for the byline. Dallow sticks to his task well, makes the block. And Sevilla, well, they don't get the corner. They think no. they should get the corner. It's a goal kick. No, it was a goal kick. Much like the, the first goal kick. It's uh, one that bounced back off Campos. Again, Rakitic with those passes, you just hit one or two. That all of a sudden he gets the ball, and the Manchester United players just have half a step yeah. back, don't they? And think, whoa, that's the Rakitic we remember. De Gea all in blue for Manchester United. In the series closes in, so he plays the ball back to Lindelof. Lindelof is able to scurry forward. 20 yards outside his penalty area, low bobbly pass to his left, Sancho looking for Martial, stretches, takes it inside Goodell, Martial looks sharp tonight, into the feet of Casemiro, couldn't bring that ball under control, Savitzer in hard on Martial, too hard, that's a free kick for Sevilla, Sevilla 1, Manchester United 0. Oh, that's a bit of a harsh shackle from behind, I think he remembers being bundled into the advertising hoardings earlier on, he was fortunate not to get yellow carded there and also Casemiro having a shot from distance clearly after the whistle's gone the referee turned to him well, what are you doing yeah. I'm gonna have to book you at some point don't forget he's he's on the danger of the potential suspension gets booked tonight he missed the first leg of a semi-final Manchester United can't think about that right now uh, sporting have equalized at home uh, Marcus Edwards former Tottenham man has made it sporting one Juventus won, so Juventus leading 2-1 on aggregate. wan -Bissaka thought he was about to take a throw. Lamilla sticks a boot in the way and kicks the ball out of his hands. wan -Bissaka doesn't overreact and gets the decision in the end. 20 minutes gone in the first half. Five live, BBC Sounds, BBC Radio, Manchester. Sevilla leading 1-0 on the night, 3-2 on aggregate, and Marcel gets a bit of revenge there by thumping through the back of Anthony Martial and knocking him to the floor and there's our Sevilla fan who say Martial is diving and now he's doing an impression of the front coral as if he's swimming we're having fun with this fella aren't we yeah he's now was he was like <laughs> intimating that he's a crybaby maybe I'm not sure but uh, I hope he's not yeah. saying you're a crybaby well, Rob, we, otherwise we there will that. be trouble he doesn't need to tell me that yeah Marcel isn't I mean no, he's I think, a bruiser I think our friend wants to get on air tonight De Gea has the ball at his feet inside the Manchester United penalty area. That Sevilla fan with a smile on his face at the moment. Can Manchester United wipe it off? Martial can't win the flick on end. The series tries a back heeled volley pass to try and get Rakitic through. I mean, he made good contact on the ball. Rakitic was never going to get it. Casemiro to Maguire. So the early mistake from Manchester United has them behind in the tie. De Gea playing to Maguire. Maguire losing the ball on the edge of the box and end the series finishing it quite brilliantly last time I saw him actually he was winning a World Cup quarter-final for Morocco making them the first African nation ever to make the semi-finals with his winning goal against Portugal Sancho has a chance to run at Jesus Navas takes him on the inside still Sancho with the ball at his feet to the edge of the box Anthony shot block wan shot straight at the goalkeeper and Bono makes a comfortable save it was tame from wan in the end and he had time to take his strike but better from Sancho Jesus Navas is not interested in defending he just wants to get rid of him and pass him on that is on all night long for Sancho if he gets control of the ball in space Campos takes a tumble wants a free kick right under the nose of the assistant referee decision doesn't go Sevilla's way Manchester United play quickly here it is it's on again Sancho against Navas Sancho again onto the right foot dummies the shot Still on his right foot. Martial's down in the penalty area, slowly getting to his feet. Eriksen on the left tries the cut back. Navas slides in and makes the block. The ball stays in play. Down by the corner flag on the right. And then a Campos with the clearance hits Sancho. And it goes behind for a goal kick. And Martial will ask the referee whether the video assistant referee might have a little look at a potential challenge on him in the build up. We don't have monitors here in our commentary position in the stadium. We could ask our mate in the, uh, in the row in front, but I think. I think I know what he'd probably say to a potential Manchester United penalty. I think he's made his feelings known, hasn't he? So, so far, halfway through the first half. But better from Manchester United. They've clued in now that Sancho's got the beating of Jesus Nadas. They've, once he's got possession, gets running at him. He can go left, he can go right. He's got the options. West Ham nil, Ghent nil. John Southall keeping across that one. 1-1 one, one on aggregate in the Europa Conference League. 
quarterfinal second leg. Casemiro up to Martial, tried to play it into the path of Sabitzer. He couldn't keep it for Manchester United. Here's Lamella inside the centre circle. Low pass to his left to Goodell, caught by Anthony. Severe allowed to keep going. Lamella's overhit the pass. Ennisiri can't control it. And Manchester United get the throw. And I think the referee said I spotted the challenge, but I played the advantage. The advantage was played, so throw in Manchester United. Yeah, it's not my fault you gave it away. Um, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Manchester United, they've clearly been told back and forwards in their passing, quick back and forwards. But it does make them very narrow, and it makes them a bit predictable. You're looking at the shape of the team now. There's only Jadon Sancho on one half of the pitch if you split it down the middle of the pitch. Uh, here is Sevilla with Lamella. Lamella's enjoying himself this evening. Good strength there. Back to end the series, giving it away. Manchester United have given it straight back. Fernando stretches, knocks it through the legs of Sabitzer to find Goodell. Sabitzer barges into Goodell, knocks him to the floor. Free kick for Sevilla, 40 yards out, inside left channel, some more banging on the desk from our uh, friendly Sevilla fan away to our right-hand side. And it's going Sevilla's way at the moment. Sevilla 1, Manchester United 0. 3-2 on aggregate, and Manchester United with the FA Cup semi-final to come against Brighton, which will be a commentary at half past four on Five Live on Sunday afternoon. We've got Newcastle against Tottenham in the Premier League at two o'clock and don't forget plenty of updates on Arsenal Southampton tomorrow night uh, in the Premier League during the Friday football social massive game for Arsenal in the title race severe free kick here's Rakitic low ball to the edge of the box Fernando tries to lay it off to Goodell Goodell back to Navas whips across in Casemiro blocks it volleyed away by Sabitzer Goodell heads it forward Casemiro really wanted that charges towards the header has fallen heavily and hurt himself he stayed down play continues Lindelof read that well, steps in to intercept. Casemiro back on his feet, groggily, and slightly unsurely as Rakitic plays the ball back to Goodell. Edge of the Manchester United penalty, a Rabona cross, they like that here, not it down. A Campos is there, De Gea makes the block. That was crucial for Manchester United because Sevilla very nearly found a way through again. Yeah, really good play from Sevilla, clever football. Culminated in that opponent from Goodell. Caught everyone by surprise, really, and all of a sudden the game froze. He was waiting for that header at the far post. When he, when he won it, it was just a race as to who could get there first. David Hayat just about making it. 26 minutes gone. Sevilla leading 1 0, 3 2 on aggregate. Martial chases a long ball forward. Can't get there. Martial heads it back to his goalkeeper. Bono being tested just the once, but not really tested. Weak shot straight at him from Aaron Wan Bissaka deadlock broken at the London Stadium which way is it gone John Southall it's gone to Ghent West Ham nil Ghent won a horrible goal for West Ham to give away defensively poor Pakitar gave it away originally and eventually came to Kuypers four yards out and he does not miss those his 26th goal of the season and how crucial could that be West Ham nil Ghent won Ghent lead 2-1 on aggregate so West Ham giving a goal away, 2-1 down on aggregate. Manchester United giving a goal away, 3-2 down on aggregate. But Rob Green, Marçal, yep. the Brazilian centre-back. Now, I said this at the start of the game. He's only just back from about five months out with a thigh injury. He's gone down. Severe are going to have to make a change at the back. Yes, yeah, straight away, Mendilibar, the manager, has turned around to Goodell, who has played centre-half, and says, right, you back there. It's already intimated to his subs. Get ready, get stripped off. We have to see where it comes on, but it will be a reshuffle for Sevilla. Goodell is being told who's he's got to mark now, so it's clearly Marcel's evening is over. Too early to be saying this, Rob. It is remarkable, though, isn't it, that given given that first half we witnessed at Old Trafford, that first oh. hour, as Eric Ten Hag said, that Manchester United are behind in this tie, really. Yeah, crazy. He's talking just over an hour later yeah. that, it's, that it is such a way, and they could have been in the distance gone saying good night and it would have been all over but Sevilla they've managed to have some sort of tune played out of them by in the last five games from this manager and they've got they know what they're doing here they know yeah. what they're doing it's whether Manchester United can get through that press can get through the tightness of the midfield Marcel applauded off the field by the home fans so Goodell will drop into the back four and it's the former Liverpool man, former Liverpool and AC Milan attacking midfielder Suso who will come on uh, for Sevilla. Sevilla leading Manchester United by a goal to nil, 3-2 on aggregate but Nemanja Goodell 
now dropping into the back four. Yeah, they're just looking now, and I think Suso's going to go into the attack. Sort of the attacking midfield role that he's used to. Mm. Looking to see maybe Rakitic has dropped back into a city midfielder where Goodell was. So a complete reshuffle all over almost. Casemiro's clearance blocked by Acuna. Casemiro from Acuna's ball forward heads it to Ericsson. Here's Lindelof. Lindelof spots a bit of space to run into inside his own half. Not the best pass. Can't find Marcia. What have you spotted there, Rob? No, it was the, the break was on. Sabic yeah. was screaming for it. Uh, Anthony was outside him. They haven't reshuffled. They haven't got it right yet. Severe. They're still finding himself. Rakitic hasn't got the pace to get back on that left-hand side. De Gea out quickly, edge of his area, as Lamella closing in on an Ennisiri flick on. De Gea's clearance headed back to his opposite number, Yassine Bono, the Moroccan international who grabs the ball in both hands. Severe of one, 34 of their last 37 knockout ties in this competition, which is utterly remarkable. Suso to Navas on the right, cross into the far post, end the series stretches, gets a left foot on the ball, toe back to Rakitic, miscue from him from the edge of the box, and Eriksen plays it forward to Sancho, nice first touch from Sancho, just inside his own half, Navas still has a bit of pace to try and get back and cover it, but Sancho's taking him backwards, then he darts inside, inside left channel now for Sancho, finds Casemiro, first time layoff to Dallo, and now Eriksen, Eriksen, just with a short straight pass across to Harry Maguire, playing just inside the Sevilla half here. 15 minutes remaining in the first half on Five Live, BBC Sounds and BBC Radio Manchester. Here's Ericsson. Ericsson trotting forward, sees a little gap, tries to thread a ball through. It's blocked. Wambasaka gets to the loose ball. Casemiro looking for Anthony. Anthony beaten to it. Lamella has the ball for Sevilla just inside his own half. Back to Rakitic, across to Acuna. Cunha clears from the left back position. Easy one for Lindelof. Just cushions a little header here to Wambasaka on the halfway line, and Eriksen plays back to Lindelof again. Sustained pressure and just keeping the ball for Manchester United. But with Wambasaka going inside, as Dallo was talking about before, coming inside his inverted fullbacks, the wide men Sancho and Anti are isolated. So when they're on, they are on. But then they're on their own. And you're thinking, you've got to do something remarkable from out there all on your own. They're not creating overloads like they were in that first half of the first leg. 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Sevilla leading Manchester United by a goal to nil. And West Ham one down at home against Ghent. So 2-1 down on aggregate in the Europa Conference League quarter-finals. Headed forward by Casemiro. Acuna is underneath it. Powerful header from him. wan has to let that bounce. He's back He's done really well because he's headed it up in the air. Then collected his own header. Now he's lost it though. Lamella plays across the halfway line here to the substitute Suso. Suso is chased by Christian Eriksen. Suso turns, heads back towards the halfway line, sees Rakitic. Rakitic feeds Acuna. Acuna back to Goodell and Goodell all the way back to his goalkeeper Bono. Martial comes jogging towards him. Bono clears up the middle of the pitch. Lindelof jumps to win a header. Eriksen hooks it forward. Sancho might fancy chasing that. Bade on the turn. Gets there first. Plays back to Bono. Bono clears again with his left foot. Lamella quicker off the mark than Wambasaka. Wambasaka straight in with the challenge, though. Round Lamella to win it. And forward it comes to Sabitzer. Took that nicely on the turn. He's knocked over by Fernando. Free kick for Manchester United. Yeah, good for Manchester United. Just keeping the pressure up, playing in Sevilla's half. Yeah, they lose the ball at times, but they're winning the second balls, winning the clearances, recycling possession. Clear foul on Sarbitza, despite the protests of the locals. Free kick Manchester United. All the reaction to tonight's European football in the Football Daily podcast. There for you on the BBC Sounds app first thing tomorrow morning. Latest match of the day, top 10 podcast there as well right now. Latest one is greatest Premier League title races that is exclusive only to BBC Sound so if you've not got the BBC Sounds app and you want to listen to your match of the day top 10 or the Football Daily or the Fantasy 606 podcast which I host alongside Chris Sutton and Statman Dave they're all there on the BBC Sounds app download that Severe have won a free kick inside their own half Dallow with the challenge and they lead Manchester United by a goal to nil Acuna the left back for Sevilla Argentinian. He's got the shades of Carlos Tevez about him. <laughs> He's got that very big shouldery yeah. squat sort of. Yeah. It's a bustly sort of character, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good spot.
Ball forward from Fernando. Maguire heads it away for Manchester United or Campos. Finds Rakitic inside the centre circle. Sabitzer closes him down. Rakitic able to glide a pass forward, but lost by Suso. Eriksson's giving it away. Here's Lamella. Lamella drags his left foot over the ball, followed by Eriksson. Navas forward in the attack, wide on the right. Takes on Dallow on the outside. Dallow tries to get the block in. The cross comes low down the byline, intercepted by Lindelof. Here is Dallow. Chips a ball into midfield. That's no man's land, and Goodell intercepts it. Just over 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Sevilla still leading. Fernando uh, off target with his pass, looking for Acuna wide on the left, and it's gone straight out for a throw-in to Manchester United. wan has taken that quickly. Maguire comes hurrying forward inside his own half, whips a low pass to his left to Dallow. Dallow calmly to Lindelof, forward to Eriksson. Sabitzer are making a run through the middle. Similar to a couple of those runs he made in the First leg at Old Trafford, lovely skill from Martial, who suddenly popped up wide on the left wing. Wants an option now, Martial. Chips it towards Casemiro. Heads it to his left to Eriksson. Ten yards inside the severe half. Eriksson curling the pass. On the second bounce, it reaches Anthony. Anthony, ball into the far post, headed over the crossbar by Casemiro. Couldn't keep the header down. Decent move from Manchester United. Yeah, a really good move. Took the time, picked the passes. Anthony had the time and space. How many times have we seen him this season cut inside on his left? And that's how oh, that's what he wants to do. That's what we see him do. And it was maybe a couple of inches too high for Casemiro, but good movement from Casemiro again, realizing where the ball was going to go and making a move for it. How have West Ham responded to going a goal behind against Ghent? John Southall. Okay, Ali, West Ham nil, Ghent one. They're desperately trying to find a route back into this game before half time. Emerson with a shot on the left of the area, saved by Ruth for his near post. Just sense, though, the fans are getting a bit frustrated in here. West Ham nil, Ghent one, Ghent lead 2 1 in aggregate. Severe leading 1 0 here at the Ramon Sanchez Pithuan against Manchester United. 3 2 up on aggregate. Anthony is fouled. Severe fans don't like the decision. Casemiro's being stopped from taking the free kick. He's taken the free kick, but then it's pulled back and he's got to go again. Did well there, Lamella. Stopped it twice he in one did. move. <laughs> without making it look fairly innocuous as well. Yeah, without getting a yellow card or Campos. Manchester United have given that away. That was a Manchester United free kick inside their own half. They've swung a high hopeful one to the left. Dallow then tackled by a Campos and Sevilla get the throw. Yeah, but this is the problem with the switch, is when they have only one player out there, it's predictable. You see the leg go back, you see the eyes, you see the, the idea, and you think, well, I can... As a defender, you think, I can get there. And they do, and they're outnumbering them at the moment. Marcus Rashford waiting on the bench for Manchester United, having missed the last two games with a groin problem. Rakitic, diagonal ball, pinpoint, obviously. Finds a Campos, one touch, dummies the cross. Navas on his outside. Dallow's just in front of him. Suso's made a little run. Flick pass finds Lamella. Lamella back to Rakitic. Drags the right foot back as if he's about to hit the ball, then delays. Play to Fernando. Back to Rakitic. Across here to Goodell. Manchester United just trying to get into defensive shape and force Severe away from their goal. Here's Goodell. Wide on the left, 40 yards out from the Manchester United goal. Acuna's beaten Anthony. Anthony's given up there. Acuna's cross takes a deflection. Lindelof heads it away. Fernando nods it down for Severe. Suso is able to turn, 30 yards out, onto his left foot, thinks about trying to unleash a shot. Instead tries to play a pass, can't find Lamella. Manchester United have a chance to counter. Anthony, onto the halfway line on the right, plays back to Casemiro, looking for forward runners. Eriksson's one of them, instead it's a cross-field pass to Martial, who's sitting deep. Martial, pace on the pass, forward to Eriksson. Eriksson's half-tackled on the edge of the box, but it's enough for Manchester United to lose it, and Fernando to bring it away, and the game is... Just opening up late in the first half here as Sevilla bring it forward. Suso, Suso to Fernando. Now a Campos central position. Sevilla sends an opportunity. Here's Lamella. Little drag again from him. Edge of the area. Lamella with the outside of his left foot. Easily saved by David De Gea. Another goal at the London Stadium. John Southall. They are level. West Ham one, Ghent one. Free kick on the right hand side on the edge of the penalty area. Met by Mikel Antonio at the near post to head it in, his 10th of the season, and how important is that number 10? West Ham 1, Kent 1. It's a different big Meeks, but he scored. Mikhail Antonio makes it 1-1. Former West Ham goalkeeper Rob Green sitting alongside me here. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. Anthony to Martial was looking for Casemiro. Pass was off target. Nasiri plays back to Rakitic. Now Loic 
Bade, the French centre-back, with his socks rolled down, giving it away. Sancho plays it to Sabitzer. Manchester United have a couple of players making ground in the box. Sabitzer can't find Martial or Anthony. And Anthony then pointing with both hands at where he wanted that cross played. Yeah, and he was right. Once or twice now, Anthony, he's, he's, I think he's taken on the role of Bruno Fernandes. He really is remonstrating with his teammates about decisions, about where they've run. Manchester United with some defending to do. Lamella, oh, Lamella's played it into Suso. Brilliant block by Lindelof. Severe appeal for a handball. Play continues as the ball rolls out to the right-hand side. Navas is there. I can see the referee putting his hand to his ear, just trying to stay in communication with the video assistant referee to hear any word on the Lindelof block. Manchester United were wide open there. Yeah, they gave the ball away and weren't reacting quick enough. They didn't get back quick enough. There was the overload on the far side, cut inside for the shot. Lindelof, my initial reaction was not a handball, wasn't a penalty, but we've seen in Europe, doesn't take much. Maguire, under pressure at the back, finds Casemiro, does really well to struggle for challenge, not the best pass, gives it away to Acuna. Acuna here to En Nasiri, En Nasiri up to the edge of the Manchester United penalty area, uses Acuna again on the left, pass back to the edge of the box, a can pass! Brilliant finish! First touch was perfect! They were 2-0 up and cruising in the first leg at Old Trafford. Now 2-0 down, closing in on half-time in the second leg, but crucially, 4-2 down overall. It's a mountain to climb. Sevilla 2, Manchester United 0. It's a wonderfully composed finish. Fabulous first touch. Opens his body up, bends it in the far top corner. But again, from Manchester United's own doing, giving the ball away again. They've looked comfortable in this half, they've looked composed. They've also given it away far too often and it's cost them twice. Looking at the body language now, you're looking around, you're thinking, where are these goals gonna come from? You have to say, looking at 11 on the pitch, he's gonna have to come from the bench. He's gonna have to change this because Bono has had nothing to do. Well, th this this is the key thing, isn't it, Rob? Marcus Rashford is on the bench. How fit is he? Manchester United have an FA Cup semi-final against Brighton on Sunday. VAR just checking the goal. While we're doing that, I can tell you that Leverkusen have a second tonight. So they lead away to Union saint gilloise by two goals to nil and 3-1 on aggregate. Now, let's just keep an eye on our friendly Sevilla fan with the big bushy beard away to our right. He's saying VAR are going to allow this goal. I mean, he hasn't got a clue what he's talking about because he can't see any more than we can. All we've got on the big screens high up at either end of the ground is goal review. I'm wondering what that could be for Acuna on the left when he played the ball into a Campos, possibly Rob. Well, I'm looking now at the journalists behind us who do have the screens and they're shrugging as well, so they have okay. no idea. So he's oh. oh, Manchester United might get a reprieve, no goal offside. It was Acuna because that's where the referee's pointing. The ball was played down the left by N Nasiri to Acuna, who whipped it back to a Campos. Acuna must have been offside when that ball was played to him. It was tight and there was no need to be offside in that position. He was free and he was open. He had the opportunity, he did. No real to the naked eye, no real idea that it happened, but a huge let off for Manchester United. Sevilla leading Manchester United by a, a goal to nil. Our Sevilla fan getting a little less friendly now. That goal's been ruled out, making a couple of gestures towards me. So I think I might continue to ignore him now for the rest of the game. Here come Manchester United down the right. Anthony's ball to the back post. Well taken down by Martial. Hits the shot. The rebound spins back to Martial. Martial looking to turn. Sancho stretches. No, the referee's right there. Doesn't think that's a penalty. There was a stretching challenge on Sancho as he went for the ball. He's still down hurt. This game's wide open at the end of the first half. Severe on the attack now with a Campos, who's had that goal ruled out. He might even just try it again with his right foot from the edge of the box. Instead, he goes wide to Suso. Suso tricks onto his right foot. Wide on the right cross, comes in. Oh, it nearly found in Nasiri at the far post. Glides past him. And Lamella battles hard to win it. And then Anthony's in there, and the pair of them are barging each other arms out butting up against each other and throwing eventually goes to Sevilla. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Sevilla leading by a goal to nil and 3-2 on aggregate. Well, brought the game to life here. Edward had sort of quietened down a bit. 
stadium's alive again. Pop. To say Manchester United have been brought back to life again by that goal being disallowed because it just didn't look like there was anything about them that no. could bring this back now. So just 1 0 because of the disallowed goal. Couple of minutes remaining in the first half. Acuna with the throw. Wambasaka can't quite block it. Lamella pokes it back to Suso. Anthony in the move for a bit of the physical stuff here. Barges three times into Suso and eventually concedes a throw in which is Sevilla's right down by the corner flag on the left-hand side. One minute remaining uh, at the end of the first half. A very lively first half here in the Ramon sanchez Pithuan. Four minutes of added time to come uh, as well. The ball is thrown back towards Ivan Rakitic. So Manchester United still very much in the tie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a hairline offside decision. But actually, Lindelof was way back, almost yeah. playing him onside. There was no need as well. No. He, he, 30 yards away. Acuna, good ball. Finds N Nasiri just outside the Manchester United penalty area on the left. N Nasiri being forced away from goal by Lindelof. Suso steps in to help out. Oh, skills from Suso. Dance through a little gate between Lindelof and Anthony. And yeah. one of those two Manchester United players caught him. Severe fans on their feet cheering the skills and they win the free kick. Yeah, he's lost a plot here, Anthony. He's gone, his head's gone. Someone needs to have a word with him. He's had one or two little tussles in this first half. He had it with Lamella there. And then he's, he's Luke Shaw warming up. And, and it's stripped off. And Rashford. Yeah. Oh yeah, Shaw, you're right. Shaw's got the red Manchester United shirt very clearly on underneath the bib. And Marcus Rashford still in the training top. Has just been out for a little warm up. Maybe just to say to Sevilla, look, I'm here and I'm Scored a few goals in this competition, so don't get too settled just yet. Free kick for Sevilla. Added time at the end of the first half. Curling in from Suso, headed away by Maguire. Only as far as Goodell. Goodell across to Acuna and back to Jesus Navas. Navas inside the centre circle with his right foot. Diagonal ball, bounces in front of Suso, but beyond him. And out for a throw into Manchester United in their right back position. Yeah, they'll be grateful just to get it through to half time now. Manchester United talking about game management, talk about knowing where you are in a tie and how it's going. Just see it through right now. Three minutes remaining of this added time at the end of the first half. Here's Dallo to Casemiro. Casemiro turns, clears with his left foot. Martial, Sancho. First time ball to Wambisaka. Wambisaka's fouled. Gets quickly to his feet, wants to take the free kick. Lamella again, doing anything he can to stop Manchester United going quickly. They have taken it, they found Sancho. He's just inside the severe half, and Manchester United have three minutes to try and force a meaningful shot on goal, possibly at the end of this first half, attacking the goal away to our right. Uh, Wan-Bissaka and Dallo have switched sides, and with Luke Short warming up, I'm not sure as to why, but I think one of the two of them may well have a problem. Here is wan on the left now, as Rob Green has pointed out. Sancho, oh, the ball finds Casemiro, edge of the box, hits the shot, heavily deflected. That'll be a corner for Manchester United. Anthony couldn't get to the rebound, so a chance for an attacking set-piece late in this first half. This will be a real steal if they manage to nick one just before half-time, because barely laid a glove in the severe penalty area tonight. Anthony looked like he was going to take the corner with his left foot. Instead, it will be Ericsson with his right foot from the right-hand side. So this will be swinging away from goal. Anthony's got himself in a position on the corner of the box where he could whip one of those left-footed efforts into the top right corner. But now he's moving away into a more central area. And Ericsson looking into the middle. Away swinger to the far post. Maguire attacks it and heads it down. Goodell heads away. Rakitic tries to control it. Maguire's there for Manchester United. Tries to find Sancho on the left. Severe intercept and suddenly start pouring forward in numbers right at the end of this first half. That's Lamella gliding forward with the ball at his feet. Support on the outside from Acampos, who's made a great run. Acampos, low cross to the far post. Anthony's got it covered. Sliding towards the ball. Did he get a touch? Yes, he did. It's gone behind for a corner too severe. Ah, oh, Suso on the far side gave up on it. Stopped running and it was in his path if he just carried on. Would have been a tapping at the far post. Well curated chance, well worked chance, great break from Sevilla. Last minute of the first half, five live, BBC Sounds, BBC Radio Manchester, some atmosphere inside this stadium tonight, corner for Sevilla, headed down by N Nasiri, volleyed away by Lindelof, volleyed by Rakitic, takes a huge deflection, Casemiro gets in the way of that one, and it goes behind for another corner, That, might, for all we know, that might have been arrowing towards the top corner. That was in. 
the reaction from everybody on the pitch. The high fives that Casemiro's getting says suggests that that was in. It was a wonderful volley. Great skills from Ivan Rakitic. Manchester United just on the ropes at the end of the first half. Another corner in from Suso, headed away by Casemiro. Lamella, slightly loose first touch, gets a chance to hit the shot though. Maguire blocks. Now Martial on the ball, 15 seconds remaining at the end of the first half. Sancho nearly turns into trouble, keeps it for Manchester United. Sabitzer's clear in the middle. If Eriksen can find him, long ball forward. Sabitzer, clever header to his left-hand side. Here's Martial. Do Manchester United have time? to get on shot on goal at the end of the first half. Martial has half lost it, referee looks at the watch, that's it. Manchester United trying to attack down the left, the Sevilla fans applaud their team. It is in the series goal that separates the two teams on the night and separates the two teams in the tie at the moment. But Manchester United, Rob, again will be kicking themselves, had it wrapped up, well, not quite wrapped up, but was so in control in the first leg, well, conceded the two late goals, have gifted one as well tonight, and I just wonder when we might see Marcus Rashford. Yeah, and they've been masters of their own downfall, masters of their own downfall again tonight, and got away with it as well, because they've got gifted another goal to Sevilla, which got scratched off by a kneecap, by the looks of it, and that is the difference of them pretty much being out of this competition and still having a chance with the guys that they've got on the bench. Still hanging in there, Manchester United trailing 1-0 on the night, 3-2 on aggregate, and Eric Ten Hag has that card of Marcus Rashford in the back pocket. It's been lively, Ellie. Yeah, well, they've been given a lifeline, Rob, haven't they? But they've got to use it because they've been by far second best so far tonight. Yeah, they've just looked void of confidence, really, and that first goal went in. It seemed to suck the life out of them a bit from there. They've had moments, glimpses, Bono in goal for Sevilla. As they're saying, not first choice. He's looked nervous at times. They barely tested him. They barely had a shot. They barely got in behind. And you're just looking to say, well, take a chance. Someone take a chance. When they move it quick, they give themselves a chance. At the moment, they're not shifting it quick enough. They're not giving themselves that opportunity. We will bring you full second half commentary from Seville in around about 10, 15 minutes time with Rob Green and Alistair Bruce Ball. Let's head to the London Stadium now, though. West Ham against Ghent. Uh, it's the quarterfinal of the Europa Conference. It's the second leg. Half time and John Southall, West Ham have given themselves a chance. Yes, it's West Ham 1, Ghent 1 at half time, which means it's 2 2 on aggregate. They finished the half the stronger side on the front foot with the momentum, but couldn't find that second goal. It was Ghent who took the lead. Really poor goal for West Ham to give away. Paketar gave the ball away to Orban. He played in Samwa. His scuff shot fell to Gaez, who tucked it in from four yards out. Real mess. David Moyes looked absolutely livid down on the touchline, as only he can. The equalising goal, though, it was a good one. Free kick on the right-hand side. Beautiful ball whipped in by Bowen. And there was Mikel Antonio at the near post to head in his 10th goal of the season, his fifth in Europe. As I said, they finished strongly. Declan Rice with a 20-yard, a big deflection, could have gone anywhere, fell to the goalkeeper roof. So I think David Moyes will be satisfied at half-time. The winners of this one, incidentally, will play AZ Alkmaar in the semi-final. They've beaten Anderlecht tonight, 4-1 on penalties. It finished 2-2 on aggregate. I wonder if we're heading that way. West Ham 1, Ghent 1, 2-2 on aggregate. Thank you, John. Yes, the other scores in the Conference League. Uh, Fiorentina 2, Lech Poznan 3. So Fiorentina goes through 6-4 on aggregate and Nice won Basel at nil. Uh, so uh, Nice 3-2 on aggregate in that one. They are in the lead. And uh, the other Europa League scores tonight as well. Rome nil, Feyenoord nil. Feyenoord are one nil up on aggregate. At Sporting one, Juventus two. So it's 2-1 two to Juventus overall. And Union SG nil, Leverkusen uh, two Leverkusen, three one up on aggregate. And whoever wins in Seville tonight will play either Juventus or Sporting Lisbon uh, on the 11th and the 18th of May. Coming up on Five Live Sport, we will hear from Mo Farah as he confirms this Sunday's London Marathon will be his last. But first, here's the news on Five Live with Tim Daly.
Listen on BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Yes, good evening. Labour is accusing Rishi Sunak of dithering and delaying after it emerged he would not announce today his response to a report on allegations of bullying by his deputy Dominic Raab. Mr Raab denies the claims. Downing Street says the Prime Minister is carefully considering the report. The BBC's political editor, Chris Mason, says if it is damning, Rishi Sunak faces a difficult choice. Does he lose him, causing a reshuffle at the top of government, prompting questions about his judgment in hiring him in the first place? Or does he retain him, posing huge questions about the staffing uh, of the Ministry of Justice, huge questions as well, potentially, uh, about the civil service and standards in the workplace and behaviour in the workplace and what people should expect to tolerate? Reports coming out of the United States are saying all criminal charges connected with the shooting dead of the cinematographer Helena Hutchins on a film set, which were being faced by the actor Alec Baldwin, have been dropped. She was killed when a gun went off during filming for the movie Rust. The body representing NHS trusts in pay talks has told the Royal College of Nursing it could challenge the union's right to hold a 48-hour strike in England at the end of this month. NHS employers thinks the six-month mandate for industrial action created by the RCN strike ballot will expire 24 hours after the start of the next planned walkout. And Elon Musk has congratulated workers at his SpaceX company after the launch of its Starship rocket. That's even though the spacecraft exploded not long after takeoff. But Dr Alice Bunn, the international director at the UK Space Agency, says the SpaceX team won't be phased. Quite a lot of these first attempts do end up blowing up on the launch pad. Um, you know, so they they made it off the launch pad. They made it well clear of the launch pad. So they will be absolutely celebrating this. They will be pouring over the data, um, you know, trying to learn in the end what went wrong, dusting themselves down, getting up and going again. That's Dr. Alice Bunn from the UK Space Agency, and that's the Five Live News. This is Five Live Sport with Eleanor Aldroyd. Yes, coming up a huge 45 minutes or even more if it goes to extra time and penalties for Manchester United. Currently 1-0 down against Sevilla. So Sevilla leading 3-2 on aggregate in the Europa League quarterfinal. At full commentary on the second half coming up with Rob Green, Alistair Bruce Ball and Clinton Morrison joining us shortly as well. Uh, but uh, first, let's talk about this. Uh, the other big sports stories of the day, organisers of Sunday's London Marathon say they're stepping up security to avoid protests after recent incidents at the Grand National and the World Snooker Championship. Activist group Extinction Rebellion have pledged to help guard the marathon after giving unique assurances to event director Hugh Brasher. What everyone I think is trying to say is that everyone has a right to run and everyone has a right to protest and that it should be feasible for the two to happen peacefully together. And that's what organisations are working to do. And we're trying to stop the polarisation of, uh, you know, extreme, extreme views one way or another. It is about people listening to each other. It is about being able to coexist. And that is what Extinction Rebellion and the London Marathon are trying to do is peacefully coexist together. Well, the London Marathon are also in discussions with Just Stop Oil, who've refused to rule out any disruption. Meanwhile, Samo Farah admits there could be tears after reiterating that this Sunday's race will be his last, his last marathon, that is. The four-time Olympic gold medalist had to pull out of last year's race with a hip injury. This is it uh, for me. Um, my journey always started in London, uh, the mini marathon. Um, here, as you said, took part on the Saturday. I always wanted to do the London Marathon and now I've done... Um, many marathons. This this is the last journey, uh, my, my last marathon journey. How do you think it's going to feel actually out there this Sunday? I wonder in a way, Mo, whether you can relax and enjoy this one in a different way. Do you think so? Yeah, no, I think that's the key thing, just enjoy it and, um, and make most of it. Um, as I said, marathon's a long way. And I think for me, seeing the crowd and, and seeing so many people supporting you does make it different and uh, there's no better place than London. And part of it, any marathon, is that, as you say, you're on the streets, the crowd is there. There's always, I suppose, Mo, the potential for somebody to disrupt the marathon. We've seen sport being disrupted in the UK in recent days. What are your thoughts about that? Do you have any anxiety about that happening? 
Yeah, and I think the key thing is not about the elite athletes. London Marathon is about the musk race. It's about people who are going out there, running for loved ones and running for charities and making it different and changing people's life. Uh, as I said, London Marathon is huge. Yeah, we, you get to see the elite like myself, but we're just a small portion. Yeah, so with all that going on, would you say to people, please don't disrupt it? I think the key thing is to just knowing that what is the London Marathon doing is there people, there's people going out there running for loved ones, so... For charities. For charities and, and making it different and, you've, and, and making changes. And you've always trusted the organisers here? Yeah, I've always, over the years they've done a great job and I'm very proud of what, 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 what they're doing and I think they'll do a great job on Sunday and just have to concentrate on my races <laughs> and do my own thing. Joe Wilson with the questions there. Updates of the London Marathon on Five Live on Sunday throughout the morning. Other sports news this evening. Let's head straight to the Crucible evening session at the World Snooker Championship. Jamie Broughton. And the 2005 World Champion Sean Murphy is in real trouble here and could be heading home. Murphy now trails the Chinese qualifier Xi Jiawei by nine frames to six in their first round match. Ten remember is the target for victory. Meanwhile, on the other table, Mark Allen is now 3-1 up against Stuart Bingham in their second round match. And it continues on BBC Sport website and app The Snooker. Heavyweight clash in Super League tonight. Champion St Helens taking on top of the table Warrington Wolves. St Helens leading 16-6 at half time and commentary continues on Five Sports Extra. The first women's golf major of the year is underway. It's the Chevron Championship and Ian Carter is watching. And Scotland's Gemma Driver is plugging away at the moment. She is one over par through eight, uh, through eight holes in a share of 52nd place, but it's a congested leaderboard and at the upper end we can see Britain's Georgia Hall who was round in a two under par 70 to maintain her continuing good form at the moment that's three shots off the lead that continues to be held by Pei Yun Chayan of Chinese Taipei. To tennis, Rafa Nadal has pulled out of the Madrid Open next week, casting more doubt on whether he'll be fit for the French Open next month. In cricket, Gloucestershire's Tom Price became the 15th player in first-class cricket history to make 100 and take a hat-trick in the same match as his side took on Worcestershire at New Road. And Joe Cordina admits that he thought about quitting boxing after being stripped of his IBF super featherweight title last year. Cordina returns to the ring on Saturday against Shafkat Rakimov. Coverage starts on five live just after 10 and you can hear Cordina on the five live boxing podcast with Steve Bunce now on BBC Sounds. Right we are not far away from second half uh, action in Seville. Sevilla leading Manchester United 1-0 at half time 3-2 on aggregate in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Clinton Morrison is back with us now then. You were quite confident weren't you for United? Yeah beforehand yeah not no more it's a big struggle <laughs> you're completely at the backtracking are you <laughs> yeah i've got a backtrack i think they're struggling massively unless he makes changes in this um second half because they're getting overrun in midfield massively mm. i wonder whether marcus rashford might be on at this stage well let me tell you something i've just seen the tv and before they went to adverts he was he was out warming up and he looked like he had his top training top off and he had his Man United kit ready to come on. Has he got enough though? Do you, do you think? I mean, because they need then well, they need two goals if they're going to avoid um, going out or you know unless it's going to go to extra time and penalties. Of course, well, does he have that magic touch? He does have the magic touch, but it's if he's if he can hold up for forty five minutes. But he hasn't been out for weeks upon weeks. It's only a couple of weeks, so he'll be sharp. Problem is, is Martial's dropping too deep. They've got no threat in behind, so it's easy for Seville at the moment. So, but you bring on someone like that, and he might make a change. He might bring on Luke Shaw because defensively they've struggled massively. Yeah, Rob, Rob and, and Ali are back with us. Um, quite a lot of chat on social media, guys, about who was at fault for that goal, uh, Maguire or De Gea. Um, are you taking the goalkeeper's side on this one, Rob? He didn't give it away. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> It was slow, and I think the difficulty is that De Gea would say, well, I, I've given you the ball, you had possession, you had decent touch, you were fine, it was your choice. The choice that Harry Maguire, the only option he had was to put it back to De De David De Gea. So realistically, I don't think it was a great ball to him. It was a culmination of basically slow play all round. This severe team's not a quick side, but 
it was so pedestrian that they managed to get closed down and Maguire had three players around him by the time he got the ball so it was a difficult difficult situation for him I mean how do they get back into this Clinton um, that's the million dollar question to be fair sometimes you got to silence them they haven't silenced the crowd and now mm. the crowd are up it was already a brilliant atmosphere Listen, bringing on someone like Marcus Rashford, I said it earlier, I think Martial's dropping far too deep, not occupying the centre-halves. Sancho can do more on that left-hand side. Their liveliest player has been Anthony. But then in midfield, they're struggling. No, le no legs, they have, they're so open when they break Seville. And they've got players in there. You look at Casemiro, he's by himself. Eriksen, Sabitza have to help. I think it's a game for Fred. I think it is a game for Fred, his energy. And then, does he make a change um, defensively? I'm not sure, but they do need to get a goal. So I, I'd definitely be bringing off Rashford. If he's fit enough to be on the bench, he's fit enough to play 45 minutes. It's, it's interesting you mentioned the crowd, Clinton, because we were saying, weren't we, just before kickoff, this is the kind of atmosphere you want to play football for. This is why, why you want to go to games. But, but do, do you think, I mean, guys in, in, actually in Seville, in the stadium, Ali, do you think it's having an effect on United? In, what, in terms of the atmosphere inside the stadium? Yeah. Um, I think I mean, they're experienced they, enough, they're, they're, Well, I was going to say, you know, they've yeah. paid enough money to yeah. be able to... Yeah, they're, 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 they're like. not at their best tonight. You know, they, they are missing Bruno Fernandes. Eric Ten Hag senses the urgency and Clinton absolutely spot on because both Marcus Rashford and Luke Shaw have immediately been thrown into the action at the start of the second half. So we are back underway here on Five Live, BBC Sounds and BBC Radio Manchester. At the moment, Manchester United just need a goal to get this tie back level. Trailing 1-0 on the night, 3-2 on aggregate, but Rashford on for Sancho mm. wide on the left, Rob. Luke Shaw at left back, which means that Diogo Dallo switches to right back. Yeah, two switches that make sense. And Bissaka, I think, labouring at the end of that first half, but Sancho had show glimpses, didn't he, in that first half. He had the beating as a Jesus Nazas, but the difference now with Rashford, as Clinton was saying, that threat in behind is there as an added bonus. So since coming off at the end of the Everton game, Marcus Rashford has missed two and a half games. There he is, Manchester United's number 10. Red shirt, untucked, short-sleeved, white number 10 on his back. Got a, a corner to defend at the start of this second half. Uh, as Rob was just saying to me, actually, just before we came back on for the second half, uh, scored away against Barcelona, scored away against Betis as well. Rakitic's corner. Oh, he's over to Hale and in. It's headed in. Lloyd Bade, the French centre back, connects with the header. Marcus Rashford has had no chance to do anything about this game in the second half as yet, because we've not even played two minutes of the second half. And Manchester United are 2 0 down on the night and 4 2 down on aggregate. And they've got a player down in the penalty area as well. It looks grim for Manchester United in the Europa League right now. The Sevilla fans are celebrating again. That's a great run, a great ball. The header takes a deflection and it just slowly loops over David De Gea. I think he's surprised by the deflection, I think, of Casemiro. Not sure, maybe Martial is down, and it's you're looking at just a slow looping deflection over David De Gea off the crossbar onto the ground and back up and in. But it's a dream start for this second half of Sevilla. I can't see how this one's going to get right written off. I can't see how Manchester United are going to get back into this because they've just started asleep again. Yeah. Scratch what I said about Manchester United needing a goal to get back in this tie. Now they need two. Anthony Martial is back on his feet. Loic Bade, the French centre-back, is being credited with the goal. He timed his run, as Rob Green has just told you. Got his header on the ball. Martial was the one challenging. It took a strange deflection, looped over David De Gea and crawled over the goal line. Real job. For Manchester United to do now. Rashford is out there, Shaw is out there, but they find themselves 2 0 down on the night. Dyer in goal, Maguire and Lindelof, the two centre backs, Dallow at right back, Shaw at left back, Casemiro and Eriksen, the midfield two. Sabitz are in the number 10 role, Martial through the middle, he's just coming back onto the field at the moment. Anthony wide left, and Marcus, uh, Anthony wide right, I beg your pardon, and Marcus Rashford wide on the left-hand side. Three and a half minutes gone in the second half. Sevilla have Yassine Bunu in goal. Jesus Navas, Loic Bade, scorer of the second goal. Playing at centre-back now alongside Goodell. Marcos Acuna, the Argentine World Cup winner at left-back. 
Uh, Fernando in central midfield. Suso came on as the uh, the first half replacement for the injured Marcel. Ocampos, Rakitic, Eric Lamella, who's looked like a player reborn uh, in the game this evening, compared to the player we saw so often sort of underwhelmed for Tottenham and end the series the Moroccan centre forward who scored the first goal. So Manchester United have it all to do. Shaw's ball is looking for the run of Sabitzer. He can't get to that. And Goodell just shepherded out of play for a goal kick to Sevilla. Rob Green. Yeah, I think they've learned that run now from Sabitzer. They've been warned. They had the two goals in the, in the first leg. It's not been as nearly productive in terms of any sort of product in getting the ball to him in that run, let alone creating a chance. And... Yes, they've made changes to Rashford. Martial keeps drifting out left. He keeps on away, and it's left, ended up to Sabit. So he's not the biggest. He's not the strongest. He's game. He's a runner, but they're not. He's not. They're not scared of him. At the moment, potential semi-final lineups with the scores the way they stand. Sevilla will be playing Juventus in the semi-finals. Jose Mourinho's Roma going out this evening as things stand because they're nil-nil against Feyenoord at the Stadio Olimpico, 1-0 down from the first leg. So that would be Feyenoord against Leverkusen, who are 2-0 up tonight against Union San Gilois. Uh, so they are leading 3-1 on aggregate. Here, Sevilla leading by two goals to nil. They've got a free kick just inside the Manchester United half. Rakitic lofts one down the left for Acuna. Acuna being challenged by Anthony. Anthony thought he'd come away with that, then lost it. Here's Rakitic, corner of the box, cross in, and De Gea scrambles it away with both hands and behind for a corner. Awkward for David De Gea. Wasn't quite sure whether El Nasiri was going to get there. Just managed to get enough on it away for a corner. They're rocking Manchester United. Could go further behind soon. Martial's still limping, so he's a problem. Begos is warming up. Tell you what, might be worth a change just to mix it up just to go long, do something different here. I have to say, you felt the belief in this city uh, today in the build-up to kick-off. Certainly felt the belief outside the stadium as they waited for the teams to arrive. Rakitic's corner in, dangerous again! Oh, another chance to Haya blocks it on the line. A Campos couldn't finish it. Crazy scramble inside the six-yard box and somehow Manchester United get the ball away. That was absolutely playground football. Manchester United couldn't clear and there were bodies, white shirts, red shirts, throwing themselves, trying to get the ball either away or across the line, eventually giving us a free kick to Manchester United. I think you'd call it a bundle, wouldn't you? It, yeah. is, uh, it was just David Hag throwing his body in the way, getting a block on, and then hoping, hoping that someone else would do the same job, and just by hook or by crook, they did it. So easily could have been three. And just no signs of life here for Manchester United. No, not promising at the moment, big game coming Sunday for them of course at Wembley full commentary on Manchester United against Brighton in the FA Cup semi-final we'll have full commentary on the first semi-final 4.45 on Saturday as well which is Manchester City against Sheffield United Luke Shaw's taking a chance deep in his own half finds Ericsson Ericsson measured pass across to Maguire space for Manchester United to work it down the right hand side scarves are twirling inside the stadium. Sevilla fans celebrating, they think they are going to win yet another Europa League quarter-final. Marcus Rashford's first touch in anger, slide ball through to Shaw, Shaw's cross-blocked at the near post and behind for a Manchester United corner. Sevilla felt there might have been an offside there. Just before the corner gets taken, let's quickly head to the London Stadium, John Southall. West Ham won, Gant won two great chances for West Ham. Thomas Socek, six yards out, handball appeal has it been given. The ball hits the, the post from Antonio. We play on, Socek has missed a sitter from six yards and Bones being denied by Roof. It's all happening here, penalty denied. They've just hit the post. West Ham won, Gant won 2-2. Two, two. Drama at the London Stadium, Bout Veghorst getting ready to come on for Manchester United, they've got a corner as well, eight minutes gone in the second half, Ericsson's waiting to take it, Rashford offers him the short option, the referee says Manchester United are going to make the change, they want to make the change before the corner, and that's all the football that Anthony Martial is going to be able to manage for Manchester United this evening, so he trots off behind that goal away to our left, that's the goal. Manchester United are attacking, two-tiered stand, packed with the Sevilla fans, clad in their white shirts, waving their giant flags. Manchester United need a goal, and quickly. Eriksen, corner in on top of the goalkeeper, has a little flap at that, Navas is there. He's able to take a touch and clear it away, a Campos charging towards the ball. Sabitzer gets there first. 
lofts it to Ericsson, heads it, chases his own header, Bade clears with his right foot. Real urgency about Manchester United now, but from what we've seen of them so far this evening, it's difficult to see them turning this one around. Yeah, they very little inspiration, has there? Very little belief in it all. It's been as flat and as insipid as the Manchester United performances we've seen really in, in recent weeks. I think, is it the Newcastle game? Yeah, lost 2-0. Now it yeah. good, kind of springs to mind a similar yeah. sort of performance. It's, it's the thing, isn't it, Rob, with a, with a season like this in all these competitions on all fronts, this is a 50-second game of the season. Eventually, at some point, it catches up with you, doesn't it? It's tough. It's tough. I think uh, I was there at Chelsea when we won the Europa League. And you bundle off one pitch into a bus and just go, where are we going next? <laughs> what meeting's this? Who are we playing? And it is like that. And at some point... The worry, if this game does slip away from them, did it eat rolls in onto yeah, Sunday as well? That's the point. Severe to Manchester United nil. Manchester United obviously won't give it up. Listeners on Five Live, BBC Sounds and BBC Radio Manchester tonight as Anthony brings the ball in from the right flank. Loose pass, doesn't find Casemiro. Ocampos, tall Argentine, is there to start to bring it forward plays back to Navas Rashford goes hurtling in to make a block overhead clearance only as far as Ericsson Goodell is there to intercept past the stretching leg of Casemiro goes tumbling forward Casemiro says he didn't catch him Casemiro gets a yellow card he pleads with the referee not to give him the yellow card so if Manchester United do manage to turn this game around Casemiro will not play in the first leg of the semi-final. I think Goodell is expecting the challenge, is yeah. stumbling. I don't think Casemiro actually touches him there. No, and you're looking at Casemiro and his reaction. And players know. Players know when it's a foul, when it's not a foul. He's just turned around there and was literally on his knees, begging not to be booked. Uh, penalty at West Ham, John Southall. It's a penalty for West Ham. We said there was a big appeal. The ball went out of play and the referee went to have a look at the screen and he's given it. Pakata is going to take it. What a big moment this is in West Ham season. West Ham won, Ghent won. 2-2 two, two on aggregate. He stands on the edge of the penalty area. Referee's just clearing players onto the edge of the box. And Pakata will take the penalty. The goalkeeper, Roof, all in green waits. There's a hush around the London Stadium. Here he comes on his left foot, steps up, stops, takes it and scores into the top right-hand corner. And West Ham have liftoff. West Ham 2, Ghent 1, 3-2 on aggregate. West Ham win the tie. They will play AZ Alkmaar in the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. It finished AZ Alkmaar 2, Anderlecht 2 on aggregate at the end of their quarter-final. Alkmaar won it 4-1 on penalties. Severe at the moment, heading for yet another Europa League semi-final, leading Manchester United by two goals to nil. Attacking down the right as I speak. Sporting won, Juventus won, so Juventus lead 2-1 on aggregate in that tie. They would meet Severe in the semi-finals. Uh, Suso trying to nutmeg Luke Shaw, it doesn't come off and Ericsson is able to clear with his right foot. Anthony will give chase, Bono's miles off his line, clears with his left foot, Veghorst intercepts, Acuna leaps in, knocks the ball up in the air, Goodell heads it away, Acuna is down, claiming he was caught on his right leg, he's still rolling around in pain but Sevilla are bringing the ball away. Uh, Leverkusen 2-0 up away to Union San Gilois, 3-1 up on aggregate and at the moment they would beat Feyenoord in the Europa League semi-final. 0-0 against Roma tonight, final leading 1-0 from the first leg. Here's Suso on the right, cross deflected, falls to Casemiro. A lot of space for Anthony to work with. Diogo Dallo is on his bike. Acuna is still down, hurt here. Manchester United have got to keep playing because Sevilla kept playing while their own player was down. Acuna is back on his feet and hobbling. The ball's worked to Rashford, edge of the area, thought about the right-footed shot, looks for the pass into the middle towards Veghorst. That's cleared. Acuna is absolutely fine, by the way. Ericsson, ball to Anthony. Veghorst trying to get onto that little chip pass into the box. Veghorst with his back to goal, turns. Two severe defenders there. They block him. And he can't win the corner either. Bade brings it away. Maguire intercepts his pass forward. Maguire wide on the right for Manchester United. Anthony has to stretch, gets there first. Plays the little one-two with Casemiro. Here's Casemiro, 30 yards from goal in a central position. 13 minutes gone in the second half. Manchester United right up against it. Heading out of Europe as things stand at the quarter-final stage at the hands of Sevilla. Dallo 
Dallo to his right finds Ericsson. Plenty to aim at in the box. Low cross into the shins of Acuna. Thought that would have hurt given how painful the blow was to his right leg, but I think he's okay. Throw in for Manchester United. Anthony's been booked for right. something. I think uh, general Bruno Fernandez in impersonation. <laughs> I think it was, but he's been he's had a he's been a bear with a sore head this evening, hasn't he? Yeah, he's trying to get involved, isn't he? Trying to get involved in the first leg as well. Eric Ten Hag saying ahead of this game. Use emotion as a tool, got to plug it in and use it at the right times. Another goal at West Ham, John Southall. Oh, what a goal this is. West Ham three, Gen one. Brilliant from Declan Rice. He picked it up on the halfway line and just surged forward. He carried on going into the penalty area and he tucked it into the bottom right-hand corner. Brilliant goal from Declan Rice. And surely West Ham are heading into the semi-finals. West Ham three. Ghent won 4-2 on aggregate. Europa League semi-finalists last season. Looks like it's going to be Europa Conference League semi-finals this season. Massive Premier League game at the weekend. Away to Bournemouth for West Ham. Leverkusen have a third tonight. They're cruising 3-0 up away uh, to Union saint gilloise 4-1 up uh, on aggregate. Rashford chasing a ball. Keeps that in well on the left-hand side. Then he's tackled by Navas. Jesus Navas will not fancy Marcus Rashford flying at him down that Manchester United left flank. No, not at all. But the problem Manchester United have got is they cannot keep the ball. They just can't keep it for five, six passes. It's gotten that slow and that bad in this second half. They've got Vegos on. I'm thinking just go to plan F. Just hit it long, hit Vegos, get round him. Because they can't keep it for five, six passes to sustain the pressure. Party atmosphere inside the Ramon Sanchez Pithuan. I've got a feeling we're not really invited. Half an hour to go. Manchester United fans in their little corner away to our right look glum. What a what a noise, what a sight. All these fans in their white shirts, scarves tied around their wrists. Sea of movement in the two tiers away to our left. Here's Rashford, little back heel, edge of the severe box. Finds Shaw, that looks like a good ball to the far post. No one there to attack it for Manchester United. Headed clear and Casemiro is there. Brings it under control, plays to his right to Eriksen. Eriksen back to Maguire and Manchester United will recycle again. So they've got half an hour now. Maybe just over with added time as well to try and find themselves two goals. That's what Sevilla did at Old Trafford last week. Anthony, doors completely closed on him by two players there. Sliding challenge by Rakitic and Lamella. They take the ball off him. Well, that's the frustrating thing about him. Surely you can see he's got three players around him. He still ran into them. Rob Green with us here in Seville. Ericsson, central position, forward to Casemiro. Good run being made by Dallo. Ball might fall to Casemiro again. In the D, left-footed curler, Bono palms it away. Fairly comfortable save for the goalkeeper. And then Navas clears down the right-hand side and that'll go out for a throw-in to Manchester United just inside their own half. No real threat in the shot, no real sting in it, but a shot all the same from Manchester United and we've not said that a lot tonight. Uh, Union saint gilloise have a goal back, so they trail 3-1 on the night, 4-2 on aggregate to Leverkusen. I want to give Lech Poznan a mention tonight as well. They've gone out of the Europa Conference League in the quarter-final stage. Uh, they were 4-1 down on aggregate, away to Fiorentina going into the second leg. They led 3-0 to get it back to 4-4 and then conceded two late goals to lose 6-4 on aggregate, which is, uh, which is a great effort. They were going for the win. <laughs> exactly. Thrown towards Veghorst. Manchester United needs something special here. Rakitic getting his body in the way of their course, and actually it's Rakitic who gets himself the free kick. So Friday Football Social from 7 o'clock on 5 Live Sport tomorrow night, including updates on a hugely important game in the Premier League title race, Arsenal-Southampton are. 3 o'clock commentary on Saturday uh, features the relegation battle because we are... Live at Leicester Wolves, all the goals as they go in up and down the country. Manchester City, Sheffield United, commentary on the first FA Cup semi-final at 4.45. And actually before those games at half past 12, commentary on the first leg of the Women's Champions League semi-final between Chelsea and Barcelona. What have Manchester United got left here? De Gea to Lindelof. Inside his own penalty area, Lindelof turns, comes back to De Gea. And De Gea to his right finds Harry Maguire. Rashford at walking pace wide on the left, but the build-up at the moment is deep on the right-hand side for Manchester United. Lindelof gets the ball at his feet, comes trotting forward across the, uh, the chequered turf here 
in Seville. Forward to Casemiro, back to Maguire. Maguire charging forward diagonally right to left. Finds Shaw, wide to Eriksen. First time ball down the line to Rashford, wanting to run away from Bade. Eriksen intercepts for Manchester United towards Veghorst. Good first touch. Veghorst, low shot, blocked on the edge of the box by Goodell. Anthony wanted it wide to the right. Dallo wins a header. Nods it to Veghorst. Veghorst feels he was fouled right under the nose of the referee. Artur Diaz doesn't agree and Sevilla have a chance to bring it away. Shaw blocks a Campos off the ball. Referee's going to play advantage. End Nasiri up against Lindelof wide on the right. Campos slowly picks himself to his feet, but Manchester United have got to watch out here. Suso from range, deflected shot, and De Gea grabs it with one hand, wide of his right-hand post, but it's gone behind for the corner. Now, two chances there for Veghorst. One for the shot, which he doesn't execute well enough. Good block by Goodell. And then losing the ball again. Yeah, his game, he's physical. He's just not got the quality that they need right now. Since losing to Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund here in the Champions League group stages this season, Sevilla have beaten FC Copenhagen 3-0 in that Champions League group, PSV Eindhoven 3-0 in the Europa League, Fernabache 2-0, they lead Manchester United 2-0 tonight. Corner into the box, headed down, that's a very comfortable save for David De Gea. Another goal at the London Stadium, John Southall. They're enjoying themselves now, West Ham 4, Ghent 1, Mikel Antonio cutting from the right-hand side, nobody stopped, stopped him and he smashed it into the top corner. Party time at the London Stadium, Ghent are so open, there could be more here. West Ham 4, Ghent 1, 5-2 on aggregate. Jose Mourinho's Roma have scored at home against Feyenoord, 1-0 on the night, 1-1 on aggregate, could potentially be heading uh, to extra time. The winners of that one at the moment are due to face Leverkusen in the semi-finals. Manchester United still trail 2-0, they've got 25 minutes to try and find two goals, otherwise it's going to be a sixth consecutive European exit at the hands of Spanish opposition. Actually, three of those exits will have come at the hands of uh, Sevilla. Champions League last 16, 2018, and of course the Europa League semi-final in Cologne back in 2020. Eric Ten Hag looks deep in thought down below. He's just looking at Eric Ten Hag and thinking, well, where can I go? Where can I go on the bench? Maybe Pellistri coming on yeah. for, Rash uh, for Anthony on that right-hand side. A right-footed player, an out-and-out -out winger out there just to get the ball out wide and get to the byline and put some crosses in because Anthony, other than being booked, has been a bit of a bystander in the yeah. second half. Ineffective, I would say. Ericsson, first time ball to Sabitzer. Sabitzer deep, but inside the severe half, scoops a pass forward for Anthony. Anthony's going to try and hassle Acuna out of possession, but Acuna did just enough to let the ball roll across the dead ball line, and it goes behind for the goal kick. Severe leading Manchester United by two goals to nil. Um, could be lively around the stadium after uh, trying to get a drink after the game. Rob could no, be. I think I'll leave five minutes before the end, actually. <laughs> but uh, no, I think, look at you. If you were severe and you describe Manchester United's performance, and it's one of the worst words you can use in football, is nice. You've been given a goal at the start of each half, pretty much, and you've not really been tested in any way. There's not really been that bite. You've not had a fright about you. It's been a nice performance. Yassine Bono being warned about time-wasting here. Manchester United are going to make another change. Sabitzer comes off and Fred comes on. FA Cup semi-final to come against Brighton on Sunday at the moment. It looks like Manchester United are heading out of the Europa League and Sevilla are going to make it seven wins out of seven in quarter-finals in this competition. And every time they, they win a quarter-final, they go on to win a semi-final, they go on to win a final. So if I was another team left in this competition, I would be seriously concerned. Eriksen, left-footed ball away to the right, looking for Anthony, headed clear. Ball is loose inside the severe half. Fred gets involved straight away. Cross to Eriksen. Rashford just drops short and asks for the ball at his feet. Eriksen instead tries to fire one forward to Fred. That's intercepted. Fernando, clever pass, finds Suso in the series offside. He was trying to hold the run and bend the run and couldn't quite do it, and Suso released it too late. Yeah, they're committing bodies forward now. Manchester United moved to more. More of a 4-3-3 with Casemiro, the one sitting. Fred's going to push on. Eriksen's pushing on on this left-hand side. Rashford coming in narrow. Ball over the top for Rashford to chase. Bade has it covered for Sevilla. Heads it to his left. Acuna is there and volleys away with his right foot. The signal. 
has been sent for flags to be waved and songs to be sung. So they're at it again inside the stadium. Sevilla leading by two goals to nil. Free kick Manchester United, Casemiro takes it wide to Anthony. Anthony goes with a low cross, which had no hope of getting through. Rakitic intercepts and Sevilla suddenly find themselves on the counter again with Suso in his bright lime green boots. Wide to number 55, Lucas Ocampos. Ocampos, right-footed cross, overhit towards the far post. Behind it goes. I uh, thought that went behind for a goal kick. Yeah, it's gone behind for a goal kick to Manchester United. Oh, Anthony holds his hands up and apologises. And you, you don't mind that as a player, but you're kind of looking at the clock going, now's not the time for apologies. We need a performance, we need someone to turn up it. So far, not many have. Eight defeats so far for Manchester United this season, heading towards a ninth at the moment. But they won't give it up because uh, if Manchester United in their history are known for anything, they are well known for pulling off improbable comebacks and certainly those in Europe as well. 2-0 down here and time is running out. 20 minutes to play. Veghorst to Anthony on the right. On Five Live, we're through until half past 10 uh, tonight. If you miss any of the post-match conversation, post-match analysis, interviews, reaction, that'll be in the Football Daily podcast for you on the BBC Sounds app tomorrow morning. Shaw towards Ericsson, finds Casemiro. Casemiro looking for Veghorst. Veghorst just forced wide inside the penalty area. Back to Anthony. Ericsson's in space. If he can find him, he can. Ericsson's first time ball. That's not good. Low and scuffed and cleared. Fred's there. 30 yards out in a central position across the shore. Shaw chips it into the box. Headed away by Goodell. The ball bounces inside the Sevilla box. Lamella's there. Hooks it over his shoulder. Falls to Fred again. Fred challenged by Fernando. I think that will be a free kick. That's in shooting range for Manchester United. Possibly a chance. Yeah, good from Fred. Good touch. Good movement. Just a little shimmy. Got away from his man and held down and held back. But again, it's just so narrow for Manchester United. Look at wide on this left now that Rashford's gone inside alongside Veghorst. There's no one there. They're in the attack, and on one side of the pitch, there's no one there. It allows Sevilla just to say, well, we'll just defend the box and sit narrow and sit tight and put bodies around there. So Rob Green with us here on Five Live, BBC Sounds, and thank you for your company on BBC Radio Manchester tonight as well. Victor Lindelof, ahead of this free kick, was called over by Eric Ten Hag, who had a little bit of paper in his hand and has given him the instructions. Lindelof now talking to Luke Shaw as to what the manager wants in the last 20 minutes or so of this game. Rashford is a potential striker of this free kick. So is Christian Eriksen, and so is Fred. The three of them in discussion. Four-man Sevilla wall in the white shirts. Goodell, the Serb, now turns and faces the ball. He's just receiving instructions from his goalkeeper there. Vout Veghorst standing in an offside position behind the wall, comes marching back to the edge of the penalty area. Marcus Rashford has done it so many times this season. Will he be given the chance to produce here? Fred dummies a run. Ericsson hits it with his right foot. Oh, curling wide of the right-hand post. Bono threw himself to his right-hand side. We can't quite see from this angle how close it was, but it was well struck. Yeah, clipped the wall as well. He's given a goal kick, but judging by the reaction of Ericsson, it clipped the wall. Oh, no. Looked like he was comfortable. Looked like he was happy watching it sail wide, especially with the deflection. Again opportunities to create something just drifting by from Manchester United. Yellow card for the man in yellow. Bono, the goalkeeper, is booked for time-wasting. And actually, fair play to the referee, because before the last one, he said, I don't want any of that nonsense. And then immediately on the next one, Bono's taking too long. And I, I always think the key after that is, if he takes long again, does the referee have the bottle to produce a second yellow and a red card? Or will Bono genuinely hurry up now here's Suso uh, in the series scorer of the first goal tonight gifted to him by Manchester United Fred trying to come away with it can't do so Fernando plays the one two with a Campos Fernando edge of the Manchester United penalty area to Suso back out to the right to a Campos a Campos pokes the ball to Suso Suso's cross deflected up in the air over the bar and behind for a severe corner toying with Manchester yep. United at times easy easy too easy they're doing what Manchester United aren't and they're creating overloads out wide they're creating options they're giving each other passes they play with confidence our um, initially friendly severe chum who was banging on the desk at the beginning of the game 
desperately been trying to catch my eye in the second half to, to give me a whole heap of abuse as if I'm a Manchester United supporter. And I'm, I'm determined not to look at him. But as I look to the right here, it's quite difficult to avoid him. Is that why you got your sunglasses on? <laughs> yeah. I'm with big Rob Green here on the left if he wants if he wants any trouble. Uh, cross in from Rakitic. Falls to Nasiri. Nasiri plays it back to Lamella, edge of the box. Across to Fernando. Fancies the shot. Takes a deflection. Another corner for Sevilla. Yeah, that's good. Good from Sevilla. It's a wonderful ball in. Rakitic has pulled the strings at times tonight. He just guarantees the delivery and the players know and they make those runs and from it creates the options for other players. He's doing his best. He's doing his best to catch my eye. He's having a good time tonight. Who and is, fair, fair play to him. Who is Popeye's nemesis? Brutus. Brutus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Brutus, that's right. Here's uh, Rakitic, deep away swinging corner, end the series up to try and win the header. Fernando. Bouncing ball, heads it to his right. Lovely touch from Rakitic, hits a low left footed drive right across the face of goal. Anyone could have got a touch on that. No one did, and it's behind for a goal kick. Could easily have been 3 0. Oh, that must have gone through about four pairs of legs there. I don't know how it's missed everybody, but it has. It's another let off for Manchester United. I had a spinach omelette for breakfast this morning. That's what it is. So that's He's... crucial, isn't it? That well. is crucial. If I'm going to take on Brutus tonight, <laughs> hope you saved another one. I've got Juliet as my olive oil. On the right hand side as well, we're all here, we're all here tonight. 15 minutes remaining, Manchester United need two goals, otherwise they are heading out of this competition. Still in the FA Cup, semi-final against Brighton to come on Sunday. And of course, still sitting fairly comfortably in that race for Champions League football in the Premier League. Big game away at Tottenham actually next Thursday for them in the Premier League, because Manchester United currently six points ahead of Tottenham, with a game in hand on them as well. So that's another big game for them. And the sight of Marcus Rashford playing football in this second half ahead of the FA Cup semi-final, I think will gladden some hearts as well. Maguire's on the ball, Sevilla in total control. They are the absolute masters of this competition. But goodness me, Manchester United had this tie in the palm of their hands in the first leg at Old Trafford, and they really have thrown it away. Here they come down the right with Anthony. Anthony looking for Dallow, Rakitic slides in, makes the challenge, Manchester United will get a corner. Well, it's a running behind, a running behind from someone in a red shirt and they win a corner. It wasn't great play, but at least someone was willing to do something different. It's a sniff. Yeah, let's see if they can get a scruffy one. Sevilla got two scruffy ones, didn't they, at the end of the first leg at Old Trafford. Manchester United get a scruffy one from a set piece. Rashford hanging deep, edge of the D, corner comes in high towards Maguire, gets his head on it, can't control it, right up over the bar it goes, and behind for a goal kick. Yeah. Eric Ten Hag has been motionless for about 15 minutes now, and I'm not sure he can do anything else really, you can send your team out, give them instructions, you need them to perform as individuals, and you have to say tonight, it's not happened. I think if you're a a Brighton fan as well, Rob. Oh. You'd be encouraged watching this, wouldn't you, ahead of Sunday? Yeah. Just, they, just, just knowing that the squad is stretched and they've had a hard game tonight and they've not played well, have they, Manchester United tonight? No, and it's going to be a quiet bus, a quiet journey home. Mm. It's a, it's a long couple of days all of a sudden. Uh, Leverkusen four, Union Saint Gilles one. I've lost track on aggregate. I think five two now. <laughs> I think that's right on aggregate. Leverkusen uh, are going through to the semi-finals. Roma final could be heading towards extra time to decide who they meet. At the moment, it's Juventus who will be meeting Sevilla in the Europa League semi-finals. Throw in for Sevilla in Manchester United territory. What a job the, uh, the coach Jose Luis Mendilibar is doing as well. I'm beating him four games before this one, about them to take them through to Europa League semi-final. Third manager of the season, Lamella goes down, challenged by Luke Shaw, but before that there was a foul on Shaw and Manchester United are going to get the free kick. Ah, Popeye's nemesis were being told by Steve Crossman was Bluto, not Brutus. Bluto. He's Steve, Bluto. Steve Crossman's not that old to know who, who that is. Bluto, he's probably right though. Brutus. Brutus, I'm thinking my classical, aren't I? Oh, my I classical literature. Yeah. Brutus killed Julius Caesar, says yes. Stephen. Probably hated spinach. Well, we don't know that. That's speculation. But apparently, apparently that's Bluto. Sevilla's Bluto away to our right-hand side. I've got a feeling he will be Bluto come the end of the evening. Uh, Anthony to Casemiro. Ball across the face of goal. Rashford can't get there. Ericsson can't get there. 
and it's behind for a goal kick to Sevilla. So 12 minutes plus added time remaining. There's the banging on the old desk from the Sevilla fans. They're leading 2-0, 4-2 on aggregate. Yeah, to make matters worse, Luke Shaw has been limping now for the last few minutes. Ooh. He's just given a thumbs up to say he'll be all right, but not needed no. for them. No, that was always going to be the risk. Malassi is on the bench as well tonight. Sevilla are going to make a change. Brian Hill on loan from, uh, from Tottenham, who was actually swapped for Eric Lamella when Eric Lamella left Tottenham to come here to Sevilla. And he's... Is he coming on for Lamella? Yep. Yeah, he's coming yep. on for Lamella. So there's a, a nice little twist of fate. Uh, you've been quite impressed by Eric Lamella tonight, haven't you, Rob? He's put himself about. Yeah. I don't think he's, uh, you know, we, he's not the, man, the, the Tottenham player that we knew, the way where he, if he was on the 11, you think, oh, good. Oh, Lamella's playing and not someone else. Tonight, he's been a thorn in the side. He's still very, very left-footed. He had a couple of opportunities to shoot with his right, which he decided not to take. But he's put a good shift in and been part of a team that's had a plan. They've gone about it well. They've pressed at the right times and they've benefited. Looking very comfortable for Sevilla. The six times UEFA Cup and Europa League winners, they are proudly em emblazoned images of each UEFA Cup they've won on the outside of this stadium. And they'll be looking to add a seventh this season unless Manchester United can find something extraordinary in the last 10 minutes of this game that they haven't looked capable of producing at any point yet really this evening. Casemiro's had the shot in the second half that Bono comfortably saved. Uh, there was Juan Bissaka's effort that he comfortably saved in the first half as well. Can't really think of much else. They're not making the highlights real, are they? Ah, Roma 2, Feyenoord nil. So Roma now 2-1 up on aggregate. Oh, David De Gea has made a mess of things. Shot in to the back of the net. Thank you very much and good night. Not David De Gea's finest moment. Yusuf N Nasiri is gifted his second goal of the night. It was a long ball forward. De Gea stuck a clumsy right leg out. The ball spun off him, ran to N Nasiri. An open net from 40 yards out. And Sevilla are on their way through to the Europa League semi-finals. 3-0 they lead Manchester United on the night. 5-2 on aggregate. It's a horrible goal to cap a horrible night for Manchester United. It's another gift. David De Gea. It's just a long, high punt into the Sevilla night sky. And there's no need, but he decides to come out of his box. He could have stay, stayed and waited and let it bounce. He wasn't quite sure. Decided to play. First time, decided to take a touch. And it's an impossible task. It's an impossible task once you've done that to pull it out the night sky. And he's just not pulled it off. And it's just rolled into El series path, who has finished it really, really well. I think the one thing you would say is to David De Gea's credit is he didn't decide to save it. He just let it go in because he would have been sent off. There would have been a suspension in the future because yeah. this game is done. Done. Manchester United out. Sevilla fans waving the Manchester United fans goodbye. 2-0 down after 21 minutes in the first leg at Old Trafford. And by half-time, Manchester United could have been out of sight. And now... With eight minutes plus added time to play, Manchester United find themselves 5-2 down on aggregate. They have conceded five goals without reply to, to not the greatest Sevilla team I've ever seen. It's, it's been a really poor night for Manchester United. Rashford, wide on the left, still going, still attacking, runs into the penalty area and is tackled. Ball is cleared up towards end of series on the hat-trick. He's got himself 17 goals for the season now. Five of those have been scored in Europe. That's awful from Luke Shaw, who's just played a pass straight across the severe half into the path of Brian Hill. Hill's given it away, and so Lindelof comes back to his goalkeeper, but um, they have not covered themselves in glory tonight, Manchester no, it's, United. No, it's, it's been a pretty dismal performance, hasn't it? And you have to say, you're looking at the goals, and Sevilla haven't, on the ball, have to work for any of the goals over the two legs. Yeah. And, you know, there's fortune about the two at Old Trafford, Malassia could have done better, but tonight, yeah, they press well for one, it's a gift, 
Yes, it was a good ball. It was a free header for another. Look out. They could be coming for a fourth. Here's Suso. Suso plays it to Hill in his bright orange boots. Hill running at Dallow. Back to Suso. Gets underneath the shot and spoons it over the crossbar. It remains Sevilla 3, Manchester United 0. Well, to make matters worse, Alex Tellez, the Manchester United player, left back. He's coming a fit left back. <laughs> a back. Yeah, coming on for Sevilla. It's a horrible one for Manchester United tonight, and you can tell actually from the body language now, they want to get themselves off, they want to get themselves rested, they want to get themselves ready for the FA Cup semi-final against Brighton. Really miss Bruno Fernandes tonight, of course, suspended. Thought that was an unfortunate yellow card he got for the handball that he really couldn't do much about in the first leg. Rafael Varane, Lissandro Martinez missing a centre-back. Luke Shaw's got to be careful he doesn't get wound up there by a Campos who's nibbling away behind him. Alanga is waiting to come on. They're just going to have to suck it up, Rob. Take the yep. defeat and move on. Yeah, they've dished them out often enough over the years in Europe that you take heavy defeats. And uh, tell you what, you be professional about this. Don't get booked. Don't get sent off. Don't get injured. Just bypass the next five ten minutes as a horrible moment in your lives and, and get on the plane home very different for west ham tonight they're going through to the europa conference league semi-finals leading ghent 4-1 on the night having gone a goal behind 5-2 on aggregate the roma goal i told you about was ruled out so they're just leading 1-0 Ah uh, no fine order scored so it's 1-1 on the night and that would take final through to a semi-final uh, against leverkusen five minutes to go here at the Ramon Sanchez Pithuan and the stadium is just a sea of movement uh, again it actually makes you feel slightly dizzy looking around the stadium decked out in white against the red seats bouncing up and down it's like waves rippling down from the stands they deserve to enjoy their night tonight and there is something as we've said about this competition with severe they'll, they'll, they'll believe they're going to go on and win this again Rob Why well not? You, you won't want to come here as, a, as yeah. an away team you know it does add something and you probably have to say it has affected the Manchester United performance tonight there is a lot of movement in the Manchester United end in the corner just a fan streaming out yeah going since that third goal went in that was it uh, Anthony Alanga's come on for didn't see we can Eric for Christian Eriksen so Eriksen finally gets a little bit of rest before the FA Cup semi-final against Brighton Bruno Fernandes will be well rested for that one we've got full commentary on it uh, 4.30 Sunday afternoon Manchester City Sheffield United in full 4.45 on Saturday afternoon John Murray bringing you commentary of both of those FA Cup semi-finals Lindelof steps in to win a header inside his own half uh, end the series lets the ball run into the severe dugout they'll take their time three and a half minutes plus added time to go and they are leading 3-0 on the night now they're giving it the Poznan they've turned their backs to the pitch they've linked arms and they continue to sing their songs so we get thousands and thousands of happy Sevilla fans staring at us uh, here's Navas Navas is ball down the right Shaw clears for Manchester United got to be careful with Marcus Rashford Rashford battling for the ball, Suso's tackled, here's Rakitic, Rakitic, edge of the area, nice pass, end the Serie on the hat-trick, tackle by Shaw, and behind it goes for a corner, Rob Green. And the Manchester United, damage limitation, and realistically, just be having a word in the refs here, saying as little injury time as possible, now, there is nothing that they can do about this result, now, it, the ship has sailed. In this competition, in knockout ties this is going to be a 35th win in 38 knockout ties it's only Porto Slavia Prague and West Ham last season in that run who have managed to knock Sevilla out of the Europa League in the knockout stages Suso's ball into the far post stooping header away from Harry Maguire Casemiro will keep it in by the byline Rashford reacts to his pass just outside the Manchester United penalty area Rashford outside of his right foot Flicks the ball to Dallow, back to Rashford again. Rashford just trying to hold off the challenge here of Alex Tellez. Tellez is fouled in. Rashford wants to take the free kick quickly. 89th minute of the game. Plays it to Casemiro. Casemiro back to Diogo Dallow. Dallow, seven or eight yards inside the severe half. Now it's worked to Rashford on the right. Looks up, hits that cross with real power, over hits it beyond everyone. And away it goes for a throw into Sevilla in their right-back position. You have to say, 
Sevilla coach Mendilibar has done a fantastic job it short term job just to get something out of the few games that he's been in charge the momentum that you can feel within the club now been barely be getting shot in saved by Bono been getting barely 40,000 for home games here this season it's been such has been the poor poor form tonight full house absolutely bouncing win the Europa League qualify for the Champions League nowhere near it with their with their league no. form this season but could do it via the Europa League in a poor La Liga yeah and they'll be facing it looks like Juventus as things stand at the moment in the semi-finals of the Europa League Manchester United going out or Campos Suso couldn't keep the ball in play throw in for Manchester United 90th minute of the game Sevilla fans will sing their team all the way to the finish our hotel actually is only a, a goal kick away from this stadium so I'm not sure how much sleep we're going to be getting this evening because I've got a feeling it's going to be noisy outside the ground big scout for Sevilla don't forget any team knocking Manchester United out of European competition a Manchester United team that's knocked their rivals Betis out of this competition and Barcelona as well yeah who are a lot higher than them in the Liga all over the top for Rashford to chase good pace from Rashford angles getting tight Goodell slides in and Rashford's knocked into the hoardings is okay he picks himself up and that's a corner for Manchester United how much added time four minutes of added time before Sevilla can really pop the champagne open and celebrate yet another Europa League semi-final Anthony trying a little elastico trick on the edge of the box three defenders around him wasn't going to win that one but he has luckily won Manchester United another corner Manchester United need three goals in four minutes Anthony's curling corner into the far post Maguire attacks it heads it down the ball is loose it falls to Jesus Navas Navas clears with his right foot or Campos against short oh Campos thought he was going to pull up with a hamstring injury there rolls the sock down feeling a little tired I think Rob yeah the ooze all around yeah. the stadium there we all saw it oh Anthony that's a terrible first touch wasn't it it just sums up the performance yeah. doesn't it all over the pitch just poor touches poor passes and it, it I have to say it's been that bad that you we said about Sunday but for the remainder of the season whether it knocks the confidence that badly because it's it's been it's, it's been complete transformation in a negative sense from the Manchester United that we've seen Eric Ten Hag create. Severe fans on their feet again, jumping up and down, celebrating the victory, which is soon going to be theirs. Just under three minutes to play on air through until half past ten on BBC Radio 5 Live and the BBC Sounds app uh, this evening. All the post match reaction in the Football Daily podcast by the BBC Sounds app as well uh, tomorrow. Manchester United want to throw deep inside their own half. They want this done. They want the full time whistle blown. They want to get themselves ready for another big knockout game of cup football at Wembley Stadium on Sunday. Tough night for them. Luke Shaw comes jogging forward. He's got Anthony in space on the left. Anthony's now playing wide on the left. Alanga on the right and Rashford through the middle. I'm looking through a sea of scarves now at the action down on the field. Casemiro, long way out, swerving shot, blocked on the edge of the box. Suso able just to lay it off to Rakitic as ever presence of mind to find the pass Brian Hill comes sprinting forward Shaw might have clipped him there Luke Shaw's going to get booked for that challenge just inside the Manchester United half and Sevilla will get the free kick well, just defended that comfortably didn't they they just stayed narrow stayed deep blocked the shot broke it's just everything has just epitomized how poor it's been and how much of a game plan Sevilla have having how well they've executed it cross in from the left hand side for Sevilla in the series tries to attack it Luke Shaw heads it away chested down by Rakitic wide on the left in an attacking position just over a minute to play clumsy challenge on him on the edge of the box so maybe Sevilla will be able to add the icing on the cake at the end of this game leading 3-0 5-2 on aggregate and they've got a free kick on the edge of the Manchester United penalty area I can't think of one positive from this performance from uh, this game tonight. Uh, Rashford playing football again. He came, yeah, he's back. He's playing football again. I think he's had, well, he's hardly had a kick, has yeah. he, in any sense, but he's back, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Ten Hag's really going to have to lift them ahead of the FA Cup semi final on Sunday. We've got about 30 seconds left to play. 
Goodell, Suso and Rakitic are the three severe players who formed a sort of equilateral triangle around the ball. Suso jumps over it, back to Goodell, closed down quickly by Casemiro. Ball comes off Casemiro, spins out for a throw-in to Sevilla, wide on the left-hand side. They're about to knock the mighty Manchester United out of the Europa League. And when the full-time whistle blows, you'll certainly hear what that means inside this characterful, colourful, atmospheric, and you have to say intimidating, football stadium. The way the fans get behind their team, all over. Sevilla seemingly invincible when it gets to the quarterfinals and beyond of this competition. 2-0 down at Old Trafford they were after 21 minutes and Manchester United could have been out of sight at half-time but they stuck in the tie, they got themselves two goals and they turned up at home tonight, believed they were going to win it, ran into a, an out-of-form, out-of-sorts Manchester United who gifted them the first goal to Yusuf en -Nasiri. Rashford came on at half-time but before he had time to blink, Sevilla had got a second and they cruised their way to the finish. En Nasiri pouncing on the David De Gea error. 3-0 on the night to Sevilla. 5-2 on aggregate. Rob Green. Well, it's a sea of white. It's a sea of scarves. The party's about to start, but it really started just after the opening whistle because Manchester United have just not turned up tonight. They just haven't put a performance in as individuals. They haven't put a performance in as a team. They're going over some of the brave few to clap their fans who've travelled. There's not much clapping coming back and you can understand why because that really was just such a poor performance. But on the flip side, Sevilla, they've been workmen like, they've been hard working, they've been industrious, they've shown glimpses, Rakitic was a star man in there. Other than that, they've worked, they didn't have to work hard on the ball for their goals at all. And it's been an absolute cruise for them. Sevilla played Manchester United five times in their history, all in their recent history as well. Knocked them out of the Champions League in the last 16 with a 2-1 win at Old Trafford in 2018. Beat them in Cologne in the Europa League semi-final in 2020, having gone a goal behind in that game, and they went on to win the trophy. And who says after this win over Manchester United, they're not going to do the same again. Incredible scenes inside the Ramon Sanchez Pithuan. It is a sea of white, red and white flags waving everywhere. You can hear the singing, you can hear the jubilation. They've crushed Manchester United tonight and Sevilla are deservedly through to the semi-finals. And for a sixth consecutive season, Manchester United's European campaign ends at the hands of a Spanish club. It's finished Sevilla 3, Manchester United 0, 5-2 on aggregate to the six times winners of this competition, Sevilla. Well, we will go into how United lost this in more depth after 10 o'clock, but Rob Green, just a word looking ahead, I suppose. You know, we said this is going to be a huge week for Manchester United. They've now somehow got to lift themselves for an FA Cup uh, semi-final on Sunday, haven't they? Yeah, and they've just got to forget this, completely forget this, remove this from your brain, it never happened. Go to Wembley, remember last time you played the League Cup final, a, a great victory for them, winning the trophy again. They need to find those memories because from this, there is very, very little that is positive about it. They just didn't turn up, they handed them a goal to start with, and it went downhill from there. There is no point analysing this. There is no point dwelling on it. Just got to move on. Mm. Hang on, hang on Rob. We've got, we've got <laughs> half an hour of a show to do. What are you talking about? I mean, in the, in their when you say there is room, no point analysing this, yeah, we can do it. Yes. But maybe, as you say, Eric Ten Hag is just going to have to say, put that to the back of your mind. Just if a you quick... Wanna, yeah, if you yeah. want to stay positive at all about that, because you've just got to scratch it off as a really 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 bad night mm. you, you, you know they, you can't dwell on it can you a performance like that but but one just quick one quick point on social media i wanted to read you it's a an anonymous text says bruno is the heart key and backbone of this manchester united team he's not playing and there's no creativity the entire team looks lost and uninterested was he that much of a missing link do you think bruno fernandez well if he's here, he'll have been sat watching it, shaking his head. If he's at home, sat watching, doing the same. He dodged a bullet, that's for sure. 
because I don't think even he could have turned this around. I don't think there's anything he could have done about it. It was, it was pretty. It, it, you know, one man doesn't make a team at all. There was 11, if not more, poor performances tonight, and you know yeah, that happens. Uh, back with you in a few minutes, guys. As we say, we will go into this in more depth after 10 o'clock. In the meantime, what a contrast.